we just lost a better team that time. No? Uh, they were more of a team than we were. You know? While we tried to play, uh, we, we tried to rely on our talent. No? But then again, I think uh, we worked on that the whole week. You know, as a matter of fact, more than a week now, we were able to prepare. And, and we, tried to, we tried to correct that by, by moving the ball more and by playing as a team. You know? I, I believe that uh, for you to beat Manila, you have to be a team. You have to play as a team, you know, uh, everybody doing his role, okay? And I believe that that's the only way you can beat uh, a team like Manila. Well, like I said, what, what the Cebuano fans could expect is that, you know, um, there's no way we will give the game to Manila because we need the game as much as they do. And um, we will try our very, very best, you know, to win this game. And there will be nothing less than 100% in it. Play as a team, that's something uh, the gems, according to Coach Sunichi Turi, who you just heard, something they did not do in last August 2021, 20, that is, when they lost by 24 points to the Manila Metro Stars, who weren't exactly the most gracious of hosts over there at the Mill and More Gymnasium. But today, can the tables be reversed as the Cebu Gems welcome the Manila Metro Stars, the rampaging Metro Stars, looking for number 22 here in the South. Good evening, Senator Freddie Webb. Should be a great game again. I think so, particularly the hungriness that uh, Cebu is going to show for tonight's game. You know, um, the Metro Stars have got the number of Cebu, particularly in the last game. They've won more games than Cebu has uh, against them. Now, keep in mind that this is not an ordinary game. This is, as you said, the first time that the Metro Stars are visiting uh, Cebu. And in Cebu, you don't play against five men. You play against the six men. Everybody man, here. Which is an enormous, gigantic, energetic crowd. Okay. Let's take a look at the team standings. We'll take a look briefly at the north. Obvious Manila and Pasig are there despite Pasig's loss earlier, 92 to 84. Pasok to the Davao Eagles. Grabe yung ginawa ng Davao. Oo, oh, oh. pero pasok na yan. Ano? Kung baga doon, wala na yan. Ito nga maganda. Ito nga panorin nyo. Tignan natin mabuti, no ha? So Cebu has already, has already played 26 games compared to that of Iloilo with 24. If Cebu wins today, that means that they will share the lead with Davao. Yes, yeah, so the, yeah, important is... Important, because if they win today, they will be able to win the Negro to them. Yes, they will be able to win the overtake of uh, Iloilo because Iloilo still has six games. Yes. Keep in mind that each team will have to play Tignan Yon. 30 games maximum. Okay. At saka, ang importante dyan is the top two positions because you draw a bye, automatic semi-finalist ka na dyan. One of the keys, of course, to Manila lately has been the entrance of their bench. Their bench, they have their good starters, but we've seen June Longalong perform incredibly well together with Chuchu Sirano. The bench of Manila has been a factor to contend with. Ano mga partner, yung dalawa na yan, they were voted uh, Caltech star player of the game the last time they played uh, Cebu. Sapagkat nag-double-double eh. Ano, ah? um, uh, with, of course, Peter Martin was there. No? Si Peter Martin scored, uh, what, 10 points, but got 12 rebounds. Yes. Samantalang si Chuchu Zerano had uh, also 10 points, but again, I think 12 assists. Ang dami-dami, no? Ah? So you can see, if Chuchu Zerano can play that well, plus Compton, the highest scorer in the league, and also the highest in assists, then Cebu will be in trouble. Okay, the bench boys undoubtedly performing well. Jun Longalong playing well in relief when Peter Martin was injured. Now, are we ready to get into the minds of our players? So there, let's work on this graphic. For the meantime, we were Freddy was beginning to talk about the numbers, and ito yung mga numbers, Freddy. Oh, nakita nyo si Lungalong, tama yung sinabi ng partner ko. Dahil nung nasaktan si Martin, lumaba ang playing time niya. Pero kung minsan ang player, kahit nabigyan mo ng playing time, pag talagang walang ibubuga, walang ibubuga. Meaning, this guy, if given the proper time, can really step up and get into the shoes of uh, Martin. And that's a good sign for any team. Yung pang hinahabol ka sa likod mo para alam mo na, teka mo na, baka mawala ako sa first five. So you strive better. Okay. Now, Freddy, let's get into the minds of the players. Interestingly enough, we will be talking, Pia Gonzalez specifically, we'll be talking with Gilbert De Mape, native Cebuani and Tagamandawi. And Ria will be handling the Cebu team. She'll be talking with Don Don Hontiveros, two very hot stars from here in Sogbo. Take it away, ladies.
Okay, Seb, ito si Gilbert De Mata, si Ibet De Mata ng Manila Metro Star. Si Ibet, noong last game, wala ka ni Dua kay may flu ka. Pero uh, nakita natin na medyo nahirapan ng Manila Metro Star sa talunin ng Cagayan de Oro, amigos. Uh, sinasabi nila na dahil napaka-importante mo nga sa team. Ngayon sa palagay mo, makakalaro ka ba ng 100%? Uh, una, uh, sa mga Pinasibo, punta kayo uh, ng hanang hapon. Hapon sa iyong talan, uh, labi ng Tamok, Tasip Mandawi. Uh, sa mapad, uh, mahama yung hapon sa inyong tanan. Uh, sa Cagayan, uh, wala ko kadula. Isawa ko kadula, kaya nila punta sa Cagayan. Kaya nakita namin, uh, nakita namin, makaya na namin sila. Hindi maraming may alam, binati mo nga yung mga Cebuano. Dahil isang Cebuano to si Ibet de Mata. At hindi lang isang basta-basta Cebuano. Naging superstar ka rin dito na sa college days mo, sa basketball. Hindi ka ba nape-pressure na makakalaban? May iba mo mga, ka mga kaibigan ulit. Siguro, oh, siguro, sa una na akong nagawa ko din yung 1995, sila, junior pa sila, nabutan ko, last na lang, last na kundua din, nabut, nabut, nabut sila na ako. Pero karon, karon may na sila mo duwa, karong tuiga, 1999, parang pisyon din ko mo duwa. Ay hindi ka ba kinakabahan na maglalaro ka against, uh, sa harap ng mga Cebuano? Ah, uh, ako dili, anad ako dili, pero masalamat na ko sa mga tao na kaya lang tarbaho na to, dili sa tayo niya ako. Okay, maraming salamat, Ibet de Mata. Ngayon puntahan natin si Ria Tanwato. Maraming salamat, Pia. Well, alam mo, talagang minamahal ang mga Cebuano itong kasama ko dito na si Don Don Ontiveros. Don, alam ko na matindi yung pressure sa inyo para mananalo kayo versus the Manila Metro Stars. Pero alam ko rin na mas matindi yung pressure na makatapos kayo sa first place ng Southern Conference pagkatapos ng crossover phase, ano? Um, so tingin mo ba, grab, kagano ka grabe yung pressure na nararamdaman nyo? And how do you handle it? Uh, mas matindi na ngayon yung pressure kasi sa first game nanalo yung Davao kaya dapat manalo na, manalo kami sa mga last four games namin. Kaya kailangan talaga na <clears throat> one at a game, kailangan manalo muna kami rito. Kamusta yung mga practices nyo? Uh, ako, dalawang beses lang ako nakapractice. Sigaling ako sa, yung sa ABC pero okay naman. Uh, maganda rin yung parang insayo nila the past, the past weeks. Um, marami ka bang natutunan sa, ma sa international experience mo na pwede mo dalhin dito sa kapanan mo? Uh, meron na, meron konti. Uh, binabati ko pala yung mga nakasama ko doon, taga Laguna Lakers, yung coaching staff ng Laguna Lakers at yung si Bong at si Gido. Okay, Don Don Otiveros, good luck po niya sa game. I'll turn you over back to Sev and Freddy, guys. Thank you very much, uh, Pia and Ria. Here we go again with those that tongue twister combination of Pia and Ria, but always a pleasure to work with them any day. As we, uh, Ontiveros was beginning to talk about the remaining games. Like in their schedule, they've got San Juan, Patangas, and Pampanga. But in the time being, we are going to check on our NBA buddies. Of course, these are the one-two combinations, the one-two punches that work for these respective teams. <laughs> From points to rebounds to assists, talagang lamang ang network stars, no? But this is a combination where you, I, I'll think more of the bench scoring rather than these two top players. But uh, ito di deliver kahit pa paano. Oh, well, yeah. Given na yan, eh, no? Pero importante dyan yung mga bench scoring nila. Pareho sa, sa Metro Stars. Nandiyan si Chico Serrano. Ah, nandiyan si Peter Martin. Boy, he's, a, he's a member of the top five for their team. Ano? Pero sa kabila naman, ito si uh, Matthew, Michelle. No? Si Michelle, tingnan natin kung gaano ka katindi maglaro ito. Okay, let's meet the starting lineup for uh, the home team, the Cebu Gems. At guard number 16, Michael Montes. At guard number 4, Michael Mandihigo. <laughs> Cebu Gems head coach, Dimitri Turi, assistant coach, Larry Villanil. The officials, Chief Crew, Mark Inova. Okay, the Metro Stars gunning for number 22. You know, um, there's also pressure on their part. They want to keep that winning streak as you check out the starters for both these clubs. But they need this game more. Manila's already in the automatic uh, uh, spot in the semi-final round. But Manila would like to keep on winning. But that's going to be a record of sorts as of now. If they win uh -huh. this particular game, 22 straight victories. That's the highest so far in any pro league. Peter Martin getting to play here today after not be seeing action for several games. And Peter Martin takes care of matters inside. They will have to apply a body, a forearm most likely, on Martin 
keep him away if they want to make anything of this ball game. We're talking of Cebu. Exactly. See, Martin has really been very, very um, relaxed when he's under the basket. Para bang yun ang territory niya. Exactly. Jun Lungalong filling in during the absence of Martin. Manigas pass is warranted. Four seconds on the shot clock, but there's a bucket from the white flag. Boy, if you can't hear us, it's because these people here are really putting their hands together for their Cebu gems. And all the newspapers here, not the newspapers, the local newspapers in Cebu, of course, we're talking about today's game. Giving it maximum exposure. Wayne Wright is still in the back court, in the front court, in his front court, that is. There's a wild heave, but it goes. Sometimes being lucky helps a lot. Well, there's something wrong with the way the gems have been crushing the boards. The other side of the court. Wayne Wright is limping and he is asking to be changed. Rob Wayne Wright, Nakipagbangan sa Rumel Aduko somewhere at midcourt, and then he limped away from that situation. He has had a history of some injuries, but he will play on. Apparently, he will just shake it off. Visiting Metro Stars are in blue. Of course, the white team, the home team, the Cebu Gym. It's a 4-2 first quarter, 10-40 remaining. As Don Don Hontiveros also mentioned earlier, it was 92-84. The win by Davao against Pasig. That is a big win. Hold it. Well, that's a problem with uh, Manigo when you try to play defense on him. The guy can take it from outside, and he's very sneaky on the way to the basket. And I think Compton will have a hard time trying to be able to catch him on the way to the basket. That's a good point. He, Compton may have the advantage a bit in terms of height, in terms of friskiness. Manigo apparently has the edge against Compton. But the Gems lose the basketball. Well, Dimapo knows that Almonte is bigger than he is, so he used a lot of hands to be able to get that ball away from Almonte. And the referees working this game, they were together with us on our Cebu Pacific flight earlier at 5 a.m. today in Nolva, Buenaventura, and Fabres. Gentlemen wearing 7, 16, and 20 on their uniforms. Girante ends up with his first personal foul. The Coliseum continues to be filled up. Uh, people continue to trek inside the unavailable space here. Spaces, that is. Here's Martin, lobs it inside. Romela Dukol, jump hook. It will not trickle down. Follow up, De La Rosa. They have just got the rebound. Exactly, partner. I can see it. I mean, to say, all of their shots came from second baskets. Exactly. Cebu going into this game, averaging only 42 rebounds, compared to Manila, which is 47 per game, and number one in rebounds in the tournament. Well, we saw it on the screen. Rob Wainwright looking at the ball instead of looking at another man that would want to get that put back. And that's what De La Rosa did. De La Rosa taking care of that one, and the Metro Stars fire ahead with a five-point lead as we enter the 10-minute zone. Metro Stars in one of their quickest starts in the tournament. They are usually a slow starting ball club. Alex Compton trying to push it up. Quick release by Compton. Pongs off the iron. Rebound by Almonte. I give credit to the guy that has the ball right now. Manigo really covered Compton well. Didn't give him a clear view of the hoop. Manigo launches. Knocks it in. Manigo with all the points ready so far of the Cebu Gems. Talaga. Is it Manigo? He's got this work out out for him because he's taking the highest score in the league and he still has to score exactly number one scorer of the tournament average of close to 24 per ball game launches a long one alex Compton with a three from out of this world exactly what you said partner and now you know no hindi akala ni manigo to take off eh ito po may press pa sila and a violation of the inbound five second violation so Manila, what thing you have to do also against Manila, they know how to do the trap. They know how to defend, bringing the ball, the defense up. So much a challenge on ball carriers than Siburito. That will not work. De La Rosa and the rebounding continues to be a problem for Cebu. Well, the garbage continues to be turned to gold. And the Gems will just have to realize that they've got to make sure that they box out this guy. That's true, Freddy, because they just can't afford yeah, trading baskets. Okay, nakakasabay sila. But too many easy points for Manila. It's frustrating. 
12-6 tallying as we continue to report to you live over Studio 23 here on ABS-CBN. Oh, what a play! Callao will have to realize you never turn your back on that basketball. You've yes. got to make sure if you're between the man and the basket and the basketball, you got to make sure you're eyeing the basketball. Kahit na medyo kinofront mo, nakapaligot ka, may sense ka kung nasaan yung bola. And Aldala Rosa perpetrates a steal. He's on the run. He's breaking loose. He scores! Aldala Rosa knows that he can outrun Manigo plus take off on a higher, higher uh, altitude. Benici Ituri uses the timeout buster. He knows that his team will have to play at a much higher level if they want to turn the tables against Manila here today. Dream. Believe. I can reach you. Prepare. With new improved Milo. Now with more energy releasers. More B vitamins to help you go faster. Higher. Stronger. Now with more energy releasers. Other brands say they have large freezers. We say we have the largest. The Mega Space Design, an exclusive feature of the new generation Condura Platinum Series. The world's largest city is experienced at her very heart. The Royal Mandaya Hotel, where you experience warm smiles, warm hospitality, and such an enchanting place. The 200 guest rooms and suites that offer a breathtaking view of majestic Mount Apo and the Davao Gulf. The Royal Mandaya Hotel. Winston, now in a new international pack. Hartman, the NBA under fashion. Hartman, the only undergarment made of 100% super cone cotton. Gilbert De Moppet throws the basketball away. <laughs> what a big, wide smile. And this is a fine DHL assist. Watch this. Compton just knew where his teammate was, ready. Yes, that's right. But you know, somehow, may kasalanan din si Manigo. Eh. Alam na niyang gustong pumasa. Hindi man lang niya inistorbo. Oh, actually. Actually. Oh, kung inistorbo niya, hindi makakapasa kay Martin sa ilalim yun. Miss Gonzalez, it appears that for Manila, it's business as usual. Of course, Chef. At ang pinakamahalagang pinaalala, marami. Coach Louie Ana sa kanyang mga lalala. Before this game started, they knew that they were going to play before a sold-out stadium. At uh, alam nila na talagang magsisigawan ang crowd dito. And so they wanted to take the crowd out as early by starting this game well. Just a quick note, though, si Nestor Echano is not suited up. He is suffering from dehydration. Seb, ready? Back to you. Okay, kawawa naman si Nestor Echano. His problems continue. Uh, before we go to Freddy, Ria, I noticed that it was Tunichi Ituri who called that timeout. And we also noticed that Rob Wainwright was limping a bit. Yes, well, uh... Uh, right now, Rob seems to be okay because in the last timeout, Sabi Nikos Tunichigituri, he is their man. They will be going to rob the job, at least for the time being. And this early in the game, Seva, talagang sumisigaw na si Coach Tunichigituri dahil sa depensa na kanyang mga boys. They're not boxing out, they're not talking on defense, and they are being dangerously outbounded. As for Mike Manigo, he's making some dangerous passes. You've got to be careful, Sev. As usual, Ria, you put the perfect captions on a play that was happening. Alex Conte with another delivery from afar. What a matchup, Conteveros against Demape. Here's Manigo, Compton with a challenge. Rebound controlled by the Metro Stars, who are controlling the rebounds in this game. They certainly are. In fact, they had four offensive rebounds, and they scored nine points on second chance, while Cebu has got a sip on both chances. Romela Dukol aching for a much better game after he slumped just a bit against Cagayan de Oro just the other day. Manila emerging victorious there. Our current score is 19 to 8, 634 remaining. Take a second look at that last play in the Kabangan in the Lawang hometown boys. Take away the outside shot of Anton, ano ah? Nandito naman si Dukol sa ilalim. Pero kung ako yan, ganyan kayo si Anton, hindi ko nabibitawan eh. Oo, actually. 
Ah, sobrang, alam mo, hindi ako maniwala doon sa pangalagang tira, bayo. In the meantime, Dondon Hontivera is trying to stir up this crowd, knocks one in from the left flank. This is a red-hot game. Exactly, Hontivera certainly is saying that I'm in the ball game and I'm going to help my team in scoring. On the other hand, the Maupin might be a tad over anxious to prove himself in front of the home fans. Hontivera scoots inside, back to back. That certainly made the crowd happy, and Ontiveros is certainly complimenting the crowd. From a high of 11, it's now down to just seven, as Ontiveros had back-to-back -back connections. Aduco, familiar spin move, power move, no production. This ball, De La Rosa loses, and it'll go to Cebu. Well, that thing happened because Ontiveros closed the baseline, which is, I'd say, the game of De La Rosa. He really loves to play that baseline. Kung si Efren Batar sa billiards table natutulog, ito sa baseline talaga natutulog ito. He loves that, that piece of the hard one. Is it three in a row? Yes, yes, yes! Oh, what a decision coming from Tunichi Ituri. He placed on Tiberius at the right time, and the man is responding. Responding indeed, anchoring the sixth and other run. And listen to this crowd roar! And we've got a full timeout. We'll be back where the action is, the NBA. Dunkin' Donuts Square Umbrella. Para sa kahit anong panahon. Dunkin' Donuts Square Umbrella. Dunkin' Donuts Square Umbrella. Anox Jeans, a legend on its own. Mobilite battery, a battery on Matagalan. Manila has not scored in two minutes. And in those two minutes, Don, Don Hunteveros put on a sterling show. Six straight points coming off the bench. And suddenly, Cebu back in this ball game. A view of the crowd we have here at the new Cebu City Coliseum. Candidates for our Hardy Flex King of the Boards race. De Mape. It's being followed by Stephen Padilla. Aaron Pass. Cebu tightening up the defensive screws, doing a much better job. Is it eight? Yes! Well, he said every day that you see somebody fake on the air and at the same time be able to convert the basket. Now that you mention it, he did exactly that. So eight straight points by the Miracle Man. Here's Compton. Manila needs a basket, but they throw the basketball away. They're losing a tad of patience here. As we take a look at this strong, strong move by Don Don Hontiveros. It's under to you, of course, by Colt 45. Here's Don Don. Will he make 10? Will he make 10? No, he will not. First miss. Well, the problem with taking Hontiveros is you never know because he doesn't have a particular sweet spot. He'll take it all over the court. Exactly. It's, you know, defensively, just to Alicincha, there's a sweet spot. Yeah. Either you push, move him away, uh, distract him, but Tamaka, he has no favorite area of the court. Everywhere he is a potential scorer. Come to long distance, go! Oh! Unbelievable! You know, Altidero says, he's not going to take it from there, but he continues to take it where you never expect him to do so. I think the strategy of Alex is to pull up in this moment. I think it's a big deal. I don't expect it. 
But in the meantime, this was this play earlier. That foul. And we have Mitchell coming in for the first time for the Gems. On the other hand, we have Chuchu Cerrado checking in for also the first time here tonight. So it looks like Manila has been presented with a challenge here. They raised to an early lead padding as much as an 11 point spread but that was erased quickly by Don Don Hontiveros. Mitchell with a spin, air ball. The defense shown by the uh, blue shirts. Chuchu trade, yes, he has sharpened that jumper of his. Well, Coach Louis Allen certainly has shown a lot of confidence in Chuchu Serrano. This time he's really playing Serrano along with Stampton. The shot will not work for Wainwright. Here's Mitchell trying to grind against the Ducal. It's a bit offline. Peter Martin playing volleyball inside, and he is the easily the master of the interior. Oh, great pass, and, but there's a follow-up. Aduko takes care and puts the period in that center. The Vitals have got to realize that the blue ones are really running, They're playing track, and they've got to stop them from bringing that ball really exceptionally fast. Suddenly, it's back to a 10-point advantage, just a point short of their biggest lead. Wainwright sends it over to Mitchell. It's a two-man game on the left flank. Mitchell trying to penetrate inside. The shot will not work. And Romela Duco, all 6-6 six, six of him flying high. Here's Chuchu trade, ball fake, and a lefty shot goes. Look at this guy's goal. They're going to get attacking the basket, taking advantage of their defensive man as their backs are turned to the basket. And that is the best way, best time to deliver the pass. They can give it a set by oh, the oh. oh. On Tiveros! Well, it's been an on Tiveros show. I don't think Manila has been able to meet a player of such quality in the last couple of days. Fresh from Tuvoka. Ito naman sa kabila. Seeing all the Chinese and Korean... Uh, displays in basketball and Hontiveros playing with renewed energy five of six from the field leaps a pass over to Mitchell cut inside perfectly that play that's, and a, good, that's yes. a good intention by Mitchell partner meaning he sees people cutting in and he gives that ball pero alam mo yung problema niya parang takot siya kay Aduko lah nakita mo pag timuha sa ilalim iniilag niya yung tira niya parang bang ang reputation ni Aduko na nauna na ah ako may Aduko ka ah Ball will stay with Manila, and the crowd getting into the game. A Felix will live to deliver fast break. One minute and 29. 28-21 as uh, the hum of our count inside the ball game. Checking in for the gems, we have Manabat, as well as, uh, I think it's Almonte who's back in. Yes, that's right, thank you. This is an altogether different five for Kamichi Duri. Chuchu Sirano, Aaron Pass should be a backing violation. Don Tomaso, by the way, is also inside for the Manila Metro Stars. You gotta appreciate the decision making of Coach uh, Kamichi Duri. He knows the name shooters now, but he knows that this game is played 48 minutes. Oh, <laughs> Dina Mamaho was a. Uh, it's a good one. Oh, oh, oh. So he got the points he needed out of Monteveros, a total of 11. Sterling, Sterling performance, five of six from the field. Edwin Manaba, nowhere to go. Here's Alex Compton. And look at Manila, run, run, run. Well, I'm sure later on, on our halftime score, you'll realize that indeed most of the points that came from the Metro Stars were on the run. De La Rosa with 11 points already, most of them coming from where he operates best downstairs. The Boa peeks inside, and we have a referee call. Three-second violation charged against the hometown Gems. Watch this play anew as this is a FedEx fast break. They have a little of everything. Fast breaks, assists, everything. When you talk of Compton, how do you stop somebody, you know, who shoots from outside and able to pass good passes like what we did? Well, what were you saying? Like Sakto, no? Padilla. 
And I'm up. Shot clock at 10. Okay, that takes care of that one. Yun ang tamang galaw. Bibiglay mo si Adukol. Dahil pag pumwesto ka at mabagal ka, talagang haabutin ka na. I think Ruben De La Rosa does not know that the quarter is about to come to an end. This game living up to its marquee building. Building, that is, you know, when you go to Cebu, tayo nagulat kanina, we passed by the new Mactan Bridge for the very first time. Talagang ganda ng bridge niya. Ano sabi mo, may ano? Parang may mga shock absorber. And a tribute to the industry and the resiliency of the Cebuano people. We'll have more of this ball game live from Cebu just after this. NS Royal Pension, an ideal place for long or short visits to Cebu, both for business and pleasure. Located at the uptown comforts of Juanos Menya Street, Cebu City. NS Royal Pension, each 37 guest rooms are perfectly lavished with its own air conditioning unit, cable TV, hot and cold shower. Be the first to experience the new NS Royal Pension, home security with a hotel amenities and services. Call NS Royal Pension at 254-5358. Agua Vida, pure drinking water, available nationwide. Mobilite battery, ambateriang ang matagalan. Winston, now in a new international pack. Now, who's hanging on to the net? Oh, Mr. Mitchell. We well, welcome you to the second quarter. I thought it was a mistletoe already early in September. <laughs> and the Gems managing to inch in clo as close as three points, but were unable to cross that barrier. They were down by as much as 11 after a searing pace by Manila in the opening minutes. Cebu managing to get their act together, courtesy of Gondon Ontiveros. Two chairs blocked, derailed. That was courtesy of El Monte. Excellent timing. Mitchell looks for some cutters. Tries that pirouette against Adukal and succeeds splendidly. Sacrifice by her, as you said. He was able to succeed simply because he's using good footwork. Ano na, hindi na niya iniiwas masyado. Oo, ina-attack na nga niya. Oo, parang nakawisan na nagkatamaan eh. Oo, sabi ko sabi nga, at kung hindi effective yung tira ko kanina, ito ka muna, kailangan, bahala na kung masipal pala ko. Oo, Kamaso, partially deflected by Mitchell. As the Gems bring up the ball, we'll go to Ria Tanwato. Okay, thanks a lot. Seven emphasis ni Coach Tony Chichuri sa laro na to. Eya, teamwork. He wants his boys to play as one team. Kaya hindi, hindi na gustuhan yung uh, nakita niya kanina when uh, Edwin Manabat and Matt Mitchell came into the game and wanted to shoot right away. He wants to see some motion on offense first. And apart from that, he has to remind his players of their roles in this game. Sabi niya kay Whitey Almonte. Ang trabaho niyang, niyang nandito is to uh, just give... The guards of the Middle Magic has a very hard time. He's got to hustle them. That's all he's got to do. Play deep, Sam. Exactly, as he did in that both the seals to get the big shot block. This has been the problem of uh, Cebu Freddy. Tendency nila in the course of a game. Uh, they forget to play in patterns nila, in teamwork nila, and they just begin to rely on their individual skills, which are quite uh, good skills, Sam, when you see them up. But when they play against a team of the Dutch people, in the meantime, Stephen Padilla also a hot three point driller. Alex Duncan gave him one, one clap, parang sa acknowledgement, 
of the effort and in frustration for his defense there. We have a foul spotted by the official. I'd say, I'd say part time more in frustration. No, actually. <laughs> I'm sure he's not going to say that was a good shot. He's uh, going to say, oh my gosh, why did I let him take that attempt? <laughs> oh, 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 but Alex Compton has also been quite a performer in this one, making so many long distance calls. Holmes, Chuchu Serrano shooting lefty. I think they're underrating Chuchu Serrano. Exactly. Para oh. bang si Chuchu Serrano lang yung pwede. Ano hindi ba? Eh, ang ganda naman din alaro nito batang to. Oh, actually, this former UP Maroon has developed his shot from afar. Arnold Gamboa, yes. He has four in the game. Great decision coming from Padilla. He could have taken off there, but then again, he saw his teammate and he says, get into the groove of the game. You gotta score. You gotta help me. Siguro yun na, on that note, mat matutuwa na si Tunisi Ituri. At least some semblance of teamwork was displayed there as Padilla now is called for this personal foul. As you can see on your screens, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are in our country, you can see that this crowd is about to burst at its seams. Parang kulang na lang na espasyo yung court na lang talaga. Talaga, pinipuno tayo. Talaga namang pinapakita ng mga, ng mga players dito. Talaga, it's worth what they paid for. Exactly. As we said, this game living up to its marquee billing. Thompson, no look pass, ends up nowhere. They fight for it. And by the way, we have a new face on the floor already. That is AC Brown, the new Phil Am of the Manila Metro Stars. He kept that ball alive. That's the reason why Mitchell committed that foul. And Tunichi sees that medyo kulang sila sa rebound, so nagpasok siya ng mas malaking tao kay Giovanni Pineda. At saka, shooter pa rin ko sa uh -huh. labas. Hoping uh, to get some points, although it's a much closer ball game now. Currently standing at 34 to 30. And a foul called by referee Inolva. But the crowd does not agree, but then again, we don't hold the whistle. It's the referee that hold it, and let's see. Exactly. That particular play. Talaga may banda. Problema. Maka-establish kaya. Armando says no. But Serrano goes to the line. Pineda ending up with a foul there. His first. Well, game. Let's check the score. 35, 39, and 10 remaining. partner, alisin lang nila yung opportunity ng uh, Metro Stars na tumakbo. Alagay ko, lalamang sila eh. Actually, no? Uh, don't let Manila play what it does best. I mean, the only way to stop that is when all five men will have to come down on defense. Sa problema, pagkatato ng bomba at tumakbo ang apat na uh, asul, o pa paano? Pagkataro ng isang bakanting libre. Palo ka na sa numero pa lang, ano ha? Ang tama yung sabi mo, si Kipin sa kailangan teamwork din yan at nag-uusap din kaya. Serrano misses that one. Nine minutes and six remaining. Okay, Pia. I know I we covered Louis Alas for quite a spell, but uh, I think he's um, got a job cut out for him here today. Yes, definitely, Chef. And there's some problem talaga. I do see Don Don Montiguel who is back on the floor. He's had a spectacular game so far. Kaya siyang gusto ng pagurin ngayon ni Coach Louis Alas. Ay instructions sa ang tuwa ang kinatao ni Don Don Montiguel ang attack sa basket. Objective, of course. It's para mapagod siya at para makafish ng fouls. They're Freddy Bucky. And let's see if they will be able to fish something out of Honteveros, who is now releasing but missing. By the way, Jun Longalong, hero of two games in Manila, is in the contest. Alex Compton really trying to plug away from afar. Can't deliver on that one. Honteveros sneaks in through traffic. Dips it with a spin around as well. It's a double dribble. I think Rob was looking for a foul. When he made the turn, he knew he had no shot. He was looking for a foul. The block not at all. You know, I believe it. The crowd beginning to get on the case of the official. Aaron Pass, here's Pineda thinking shot, but decides against it. Discretion being the better part of Valor. 
partner, pag tinira niya, walang kalibang oh, ribang. Mas marami siyang kaaway noon pagkatapos noon. <laughs> Manabat in the apex, spinning around. Horse, basket, what a foul to do. Well, Manabat gets into the scoring parade. Alam mo yun ang mga dalaw na talagang uh, you'll appreciate yun, ano ba? Konting take dyan, at yun, sisingit ka sa ilalim. Kaputin mo na lamang. Seven forty-seven to go. It's hot. It's humid. But who cares here today? In fact, some um, September showers rendering this place much cooler than usual. But look at this. We're tied at thirty-five. Second deadlock. Ano ito si Chuchu Serrano in the absence of Compton? With Compton, para bang naging silensyo, no? Siya naman ang umaatake. At pag umaatake, hindi lang tumitira, pumapasa pa ng maganda. And Manila knows that one of their assets of their game is the interior. They have so many big men who can get the job done there, like Jun Lungalo, who has been coming out with some superlative games. That's the reason why Martin is out and Lungalo is in, because now... Louis Alas uh, knows very well that uh, this guy can really join in scoring and also on rebounding. We have you for Cebu checking in for the first time. 7.40 remaining. It's a 36-35 second period. Manila losing as much as an 11-point lead. You, Manabat, trying to post up against Brown, is partially rejected. Manila is in control of the board. Masikip na yun. Dapat yun, itinulak na lang niya yung bola sa labas ulit. Exactly. Two defenders were climbing on him. In the meantime, Hamaso can't squeeze the trigger. Three-second violation. Pag nangyayari yung three seconds, it's because of good defense, no? Exactly. Akala nung mga blue shirts na meron na silang tira, no? Pero nandun doon, nakokover. Kaya yung nasa ilalim, naghihintay ng rebound. You force the shooter to change his mind. Oo. And at the same time, yung maabang naman sa ilalim, akala titira na eh. Exactly. Seven and three to go. Don Don, fall away, baby. No siree. Into the hands of Jonathan Serrano. Jonathan with a double dribble. The crowd with their own whistles. Oh, you got to give credit to Manabat, ha? Dahil ito, tinan mo, ha? Sino ang pe-fake sa kanya? Ayan, no? Pinake siya ni Manabat. Pinari, aagaw. Si Lucio Serrano, umilan. I remember... Cicero Bernardo used to do that very well. Alam, kilala siya as an offensive player, di ba? Pero may sundot siya na gano'n. Oo, kunyari lang. Pero hindi nakakasundot talaga. May faking ka nun eh. May faking ka sa kaliwa, tapos susundot sa kanan. Bandon. It's beginning to sound like a song. Bandon, Bandon, Bandon. The Gems with their first taste of the lead. Brown, lefty, yes, we're tied. If you have a remote control in your hands, may, uh, may we strongly suggest that you hide it for the time being, because anything but anything will happen in this one. Six and 12 remaining in the second period. Fall away. This will not work, and the rebound controlled by Serrano. But the dribble is a different matter altogether. Alex Thompson getting out of trouble. Long Island rejected authoritatively by Wainwright. And people love that kind of defense, you know, when you feel that you've got the basket, but here comes Wainwright. Watch this. A bit, not a bit, just like focus here. Listen to the crowd. Just before we go into this timeout. To find out if Motolite can withstand excessive vibration, you'll test it with a jackhammer. Galit, Jan. Yun! Sa kong arong kita! Mensch, ima ti patari kaput! It's designed for the worst world condition. Start! Mating ding torso to! Ander pa kaya yan? Let's see! There's seven guys. Somebody's got to sit down. Yeah, spin the bottle. Who's your six? You sit first. You can come in with one of those.
tired. But I can dump in the free throw line. Yeah, whatever. But when can I come in? Well, one of us gets tired. Anybody tired yet? You drink Gatorade? You cool down? You keep playing. But when am I gonna play? Got it? Good. I'm not gonna get in, am I? I'm afraid not. <laughs> <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts Cuela Umbrella para sa kahit anong eksena. Tapag maini, tapag na hon. O kaya umukulay. Add 78 pesos when you buy a dozen Dunkin' Donuts and regular Coca-Cola and get your own Cuela Umbrella. Magpakuela na. Piliyo ko maraming Cuela Umbrella. The new Hotel Maguindanao for complete comfort without compromising value with rooms to suit every kind of budget plus the most exciting ballroom club in town. You are sure to find your place of rest or recreation in this exotic metropolis. Experience hospitality like nowhere else, standing true to the real Dabawenyan spirit. Do you feel like a winner tonight? <laughs> then you're ready for the Wild 7 prime time. Three steps to win. Just wait for the mild seven question between seven to ten tonight. Call the numbers on the screen. And give us the correct answer and you win an instant prize. Are you ready to win? Then don't touch that remote. The mild seven prime time will be back. Paddock's Jeans, a legend on its own. Welcome back to the NBA dito po sa Cebu City. Napakarami pong maikinit na balita sa sports, lalong-lalo na po dito sa Liga ng Bayang ang inyong NBA. At meron po kayong bagong mapagkukunan ng mga informasyon tungkol sa palakasan. May bago pong palabas ang Sports Central na magsisimula ngayong Sabado, September 11, 1.30 po ng hapon. At para sa isang appetizer sa iahain nila ngayong Sabado, panoorin po ninyo ito. Ito, tago ba sa sarili ko yun. Yan ang, siyempre, ayoko, nangyayari na ako sa mga kababayan ko at saka sa mga taong, siyempre, may mga ibang lumalabas sa balita. Okay. Do we have a contest? Pahuhulaan ba natin kung sino yan? Well, not anymore because everybody knows Arik Del Rosario and the story that has appeared in all the dailies about his resignation together with Hill Cortez, Hong Kong Segura, and some other officials of Pampanga. We'll get the inside story on that one in Sports Central this Saturday. Thanks a lot, Pia. 5.22 to go. And this ballgame has not been lacking in excitement. Okay, Ria, uh, and Cebu must be a little more pleased with themselves. They've able, been able to tie up this ball game. Yes, yeah, certainly said they are very much into this game, but it must be very frustrating for Coach Tonichi Ituri to um, repeat the simplest of all basketball instructions. Sabi niya sa kanyang mga manlalaro sa huling timeout, whoever gets free from the double team, kay Dalton Hontiveros, Hontiveros, kailangan siya mag-cut sa loob ng paint. And uh, as you know, this is a very simple thing, but so far they're not able to do that on offense right now. They're going to be going to Matt Mitchell. He told his players they need patience on offense, they need to move. They cannot play a one-man game, they cannot rely on Hontiveros. Because if that happens, they will be too easy to stop by these metro stars. Sev? Uh, Ria, being the father of three boys, I can understand uh, Tunichi Ituri's predicament of having to repeat things occasionally. The simplest of the victims are sometimes, uh, they do have to be repeated. On Teveros, not this time around. But I'm ready to coaching, you know. I, I notice coaches do that, no? repeat their instructions. Box out, defense out. If you, don't, if you don't say that, then the players will not realize that no, they continue to make a mistake, no? Siyempre, napapagod din yan. Nakakalimutan yung diskarte ko minsan. He's gone. He's gone. Well, what a break coming from Montiveros. And this guy has been doing well against Campton. I think yes. you, huh? I, don't, I don't think Manila was ready for this show by Montiveros because Compton is not interested in buying a ticket to that show. Exactly. But after saying that, Campos says, what were you saying? Here's, here I am again, I'm going to score. He has 12 points in this first half, which is moving at a very swift pace. 3.54 to go. Giovanni. And Aduko yanks it away. Watch the blue shirts. No, they're not trying to get it. They are controlling the board. Peter Martin with a shot that is not going to be found in any textbook but only he knew how that would be done. 
Kahit na ako, eh, ako paano ginawa yun, eh, ba? Kung baga, layup, pero malayo sa basket. I always knew there was a fadeaway layup somewhere in basketball lore. Ontiveros pops. No. And Adukal is beginning to assert himself. Pia, quickly to you. 17 seconds, Louis. Alex realizes that this crowd is beginning to get on the nerves of his boys. Kaya patuloy ang pag-westra niya mula dito sa sideline na mag-relax sila at huwag magmamadali. Hinihingi rin niya sa kanya mga malalaro na mas protektahan nila ang baseline dahil dito nagmumula lahat ng atake ng Cebu Gem. He'd rather send that Cebu Gem's attackers to the middle dahil darating dito ang kanyang health defense. Sir Freddy, back to you. Huwag kami mo nang bibitaw. Si Louis Alas ba paulit-ulit din ang sinasabi dyan? Hindi naman. Oo naman, sir. Paulit-ulit dahil gagaya ng sinabi nyo, kailangan sigurong ma- Ulit-ulit para talaga makuha ng kanyang mga players. Thanks a lot, Pia. Well, at least pareho naman talaga. No, pero si Louie Alas, ano mo sabi ni Coach Louie? Ang sabi niya ganyan, ang game plan niya is the same, except minor adjustments. Correct. Now, the minor adjustments that I've seen that he's done really is to put two guard position, ano, para hindi mapagod si Compton. At hindi dyan na rin si, ano palagi, nasa loob na ang kanyang uh, partner, no, ha? Si Serrano, si Chu. But I noticed uh, quickly also that they're using the mapping very sparingly here. I think uh, that uh, bout with the flu may have affected his endurance, his resistance, as well to speak. And they have not really used him all that much in this game. He saw very few minutes in the opening quarter. And not only that, I think Galagos is really playing well. Right. That's also a good point. In the meantime, Mitchell bounces it downstairs. Quick turnaround check. Hey, he's making things happen. That's the ball with six. Oh, yun ang mga quick releases. Eh. Alam mo, pagka malalaki ang tao, kailangan bilisan mo ang release ng bola. Pag medyo tumagal ka dyan, hindi ka. Alex Compton, who has been shifting from the one and two position, has now seven assists. A bit of confusion on the triangle as two people speak for the basket. Manigo, bang! Oh, si Manigo, dala pa lang yung bola. Nakangitin eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm gonna score ah, two ayon, points of this. Ayaw nyo akong bantayan, oh. ha? Sige, sa isang puntos ko. Adukol, who as we mentioned, was beginning to be authoritative underneath. Where the lead in that Hardy Flex King of the Board race. Here he is with the leather. The spin shot. He's angled off by two defenders. Mitchell launches it forward. Manabat is home. And look at that. This time it's the gems' opportunity to be able to score on the break. Less than two minutes to go. Thompson, quick release. He's doing that because hindi pa nakaset up ang depensa ng Cebu. Oo, at saka ang bilis ng dala eh. Akala mo tuloy, papasa eh. Nagsitsir pa yung tao doon sa basket ng Cebu. Kinakalabit na niya na ang pre-gable sa kabila. At really, Thompson must have really been practicing. Alam mo, dati hindi naman tinitiro doon sa side. Palagi sa ibabaw. Watch this, Paul 45. Power move. Para bang... In preparation for this game, layo ako nga yung distansya ko ako. Saka mas bilis ang kaya release ko. Okay, Mayan, tayo ay magpapahinga sa dalit. May timeout tayo. A minute and 41 to go. Metro starts with a four-point advantage. The classic taste of Nescafe. The rich creaminess of coffee mate and sugar. All the goodness in one easy-to-prepare Nescafe 3-in-1. It's even better because it's richer, creamier. Nescafe 3-in-1, the best thing that happened to your office coffee break. Richer, creamier, Nescafe 3-in-1. I love it. Philippine Rabbit, the official MBA 99 carrier. Traveling in style, comfort, and safety. That's every Filipino's wish. Now, discover what millions of passengers have experienced. The Philippine Rabbit Experience. Clean buses, courteous personnel, and safety beyond any other carrier. The Philippine Rabbit Experience. In the year of the rabbit, you just gotta try it. largest city is experienced at her very heart. 
The Royal Monday at Hotel, where you experience warm smiles, warm hospitality in such an enchanting place. We do want a guest rooms and suites that offer a breathtaking view of majestic Mount Apple and the Davo Gulf. The Royal Monday at Hotel. Grab a phone. It's time for the Mild 7 question. What the Mild 7 pack colors? A, green and red. B, blue and yellow. C, blue and white. If you are 18 and above, call the numbers and be one of our first three callers to win. And if you don't make it, don't worry. The Mild 7 prime time will be back. Mayang gabi, ganin yung tanan. Daling dito sa Subu. What a game we're witnessing and we do hope you're enjoying it as well. It is a fickle basketball that refuses to drop in for uh, Matthew Mitchell. 50-46 tally. Metro Stars in front by Forrest. We're down to a minute and 41. Oh, a big smile by Michelle Del Rosario of Espina Village, Cebu City. She is our nasty, refreshing face of this particular day. And do watch out for the NBA nasty splashman, Che Handana Mugisida sa inyong lugar at mamimigay ng malalaking cash prizes. Oh, tara na, sorry na. Both teams trying to struggle for form. Uh, off the offensive sets, the half-court game has not been working, at least for the last two plays for Manila. I don't know, kanino pinapasa ni Chuchu Serrano yung bola, di ba? That's why Louis Alas, uh, first time I see him a bit flustered, will move in to listen to this uh, Winston 30-second uh, timeout. Let's move in to Coach Louis Alas. Do I go get him now? Come back. Time again, down. That's the reason why he can elect the Thompson. FedEx fast break. So I'm play partner is concentrated on Compton. Let's see if they, if they can execute. The pick, the series of screens, the opening. Compton releases. That's an air ball. Quick inbound. De La Rosa, who loves to do that, <laughs> it didn't work this time around. <laughs> For those that didn't see it, De La Rosa wanted to hit a white shirt at the back and at the same time come into the basketball and get that ball underneath the basket and probably... Exactly. For a winner. Para bang na hindi panda, hindi pensa, sige. Ihi mas kumuna sa mga uniforming itong bola. Oh! Midair collision. Si Mitchell at saka ito si si Wayne Wright parang matagal na naglalaro. Ano? Magkasama? Ano? Ganda rin pasaan. Peter Martin trying to help out. Guilty of his first personal foul. Sending Mitchell to the line. That will not work. Again, if you just join us, this is the second meeting between these two teams in the crossovers. Last August 21, it was Manila turning back the Cebu Gems over there at the Mail and More Gym. 114 to 90 was the tune of the count then. So here's the Mape. Also groping for some form. Bars at three. Doesn't work. Adukal and Wainwright are throwing sweet nothings at each other. Gamboa has been playing a splendid game. Eight points. Gamboa, of course, a pickup uh, recruit from the uh, Batangas Blades, involved in that, uh, involved that trade, in, uh, which had also Chris Tan going over to Batangas. Atukol, it's a personal battle. Look at that. That's
that thing happened because Mitchell played very good defense on the Dupo. And we've got a timeout. Boy, temperatures rising. We'll be back. Oh, hey, hang on. It's a 30. So let's move in. See not the mark. Cebu, let's move into Cebu. Both big men up. Arnold, Matt. Arnold, Matt. Okay? This is what I want to happen. Okay? Everybody go up. Everybody go up. Now, Mike crosses the line. Okay? Mike crosses the line. Matt, this is what I want you to do. You give a pick for him, Matt. Now, uh, Rob, no, no. Edwin, you go to the corner, Edwin. Huh? Okay? He goes. Mike, but we help it out, drop it. If not, one, two, for Rob coming off. Huh, Mike? Come on. It's in Daniel, huh? Okay? Watch this bit of action. Rugged, hot, and furious between these two sides as Mokasil blocks were issued left and right. For the Metro Stars, they're going to go on a full court press, hoping that they can take that ball away from the white shirts. They only have a one point lead. The basket by Cebu gives them the upper hand, and the crowd knows it. Here's Manigo, who has been scintillating. Wayne Wright fires strong, too sharp in fact. Alex Compton with a quick look, launches. It has, if it had gone in, I would not have been surprised simply because of the way he's been extending himself on the floor here today. That's right. But then again, you know, para sa akin, masyado maaga yung tira ng ano, ng Cebu. Cebu. Like you say, there was still about four, four seconds left. Okay. So at the end of 24 minutes, Metro Stars emerge with a one-point lead. You're taking a night view of a place known from a place known as Tops, where you can view the majestic Cebu City, the Queen City of the South, and we'll bring you back to it just after these important messages. Dunkin' Donuts Quail Umbrella. Para sa kaya ng panahon. Hanford, Boys R Us, Journey, and Hartman present Millennium Bang! Bigay to nong ngayong siglo rebel promo. You can win house and lot, living room showcase, trip to Hong Kong for two, plus lots of appliances and gift bags in the major draws. Simply buy Hanford, Boys R Us, Journey, or Hartman and get a rebel stop. Fill it up and drop at designated boxes at your favorite outlets. Sali na sa Millennium Bang! Bigay to nong ngayong siglo! Dunkin' Donuts Quail Umbrella. Siyempre si Ipsets is wrong. Every year, thousands of Filipinos die of cardiovascular disease. But who cares? Today, many more are prime targets of this disease. But who cares? We care. You should care too. The new Hotel Maguindanao for complete comfort without compromising value. With rooms to suit every kind of budget. Plus, the most exciting bowling club in town. You are sure to find your place of rest or recreation in this exotic metropolis. Experience hospitality like nowhere else. Standing true to the real double venue spirit. Dunkin' Donuts Quail Umbrella. Hindi na kayo. Well, by now, I'm sure you are all familiar with the name Matt Mitchell, ang bagong film ng Cebu Gems. Talagang si Matt Mitchell ay nagniningning para sa kanyang kopanan. He averages 21 points and 12 rebounds per game. Pero kinsta man siya, kani si Matt Mitchell. Let's watch this to find out. Hanging out with my friends um, that I met on the team and, and around. And, uh, I don't do much. Play PlayStation, listen to music, walk around the mall. But I don't do too much around here. I'm a very boring person at times. And, uh, you know, like, it's too fast paced. I'm a laid back person. This food is perfect for me because it's like a laid back city. You know? I'm from a small country town. And, uh, it's perfect. I, I pick the streets a little, but uh, I don't do much. Like, limelight is not really my forte. I don't really stay in the bar and anything like that. It's not me. Um, I just like to have fun. So, uh, 
I don't know. I, I'm a born person. Very much so, homebody. Video game fanatic. That's all I do. Uh, football and basketball is all I play. I don't sing at all. I can't dance. I can't sing. I love. I love to read anything. Uh, well, I read the Bible every night. A lot. You know, after I'm done playing basketball, I'm gonna come visit. I like it here. It's a nice place. This portion is brought to you by Adidas. Forever Sport. Well, on your screen, you see Compton scoring 15, and Ontiveros coming late into the basketball game does a 16. Okay, and uh, there were so many great moments in that first half. Alam mo ba't ako natagalan? Kumuha ko na isang kilong tubig dahil sa init natin dito here today. Maaring mainit ang katawan natin, pero yung laro mas mainit. Oh, exactly. Masarap, masarap, masarap. 50-49, meron ko yata ang listahan ng mga... Ay, interview ba muna tayo? Sino ba ang interview? Okay, pakinggan natin yung sinabi ng mga coaches before. Bago natin ipakita yung mga importante yung moments ng first half, si Pia kinausap si Coach Louie Alas, tapos si Ria naman si Tony Chituri. We caught Coach Louie Alas before he entered the dugout at halftime. Coach, you guys led for most of the first half, pero para medyo hirap na hirap kayo makapull away. What will you tell your boys ngayong halftime? Uh, first, stop Don Don Antiveros, then limit their transition basket, control the boards. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck in second half. Ngayon, puntahan natin si Ria Tanwatko, who had a quick interview with Coach Trichy Turi of the Cebu Gems. Okay, and um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think uh, there's any denying that this was recorded. So we'll try to roll the tape of Ria now. Are you ready, Director Jun de Los Santos? Roll away. Okay, kasama ko dito ngayon uh, si Coach Tonichi Iduri. Coach, I feel that uh, in the first, towards the end of the first half of this game, the momentum was pretty evenly matched. But uh, what do your boys have to do in the second half? Well, second half, we just have to do what we're doing right now. Now, we just have to play better defense because of the fact that they're scoring too many points. Now, they made 50, and I just hope that we play better defense this second half. We execute more on our plays. There, there are still people who do things on their own, so I think you have to take that out. Okay, Coach, thanks a lot. Thank you for your time. Okay, this is your NBA Live and Loud from Cebu City. Babalik po kami pagkatapos ng konting paalaala, kaya dyan lang po kayo. Ngayon na ang araw ng paghuhusga sa nag-iisang Millennium Action Star. Suspect. Nagwawala na si Braga. Nasira ng ulo. Palabas na! From north to south, our ruling passion has sent the nation to total commotion. Rocking and raving, chanting and cheering, enjoying the thrills and spills, taking pride of their home teams. This is where they long to belong. A league that feels like home. They go fanatical and radical. See the riot, hear the noise, feel the passion. This is your NBA! Proud to have a crowd so loud. As Charlie Chaplin once said, in comedy, nothing transcends character. You've got to have the face, the moves, to be the right man for the job. Rowan Atkinson lectures on the art of visual comedy, September 9, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. on Cineplex 23. Bakit tayo nagmamadali? Ewan ko ba, dahil yung laro nagmamadali rin ito. Trabaho na naman tayo, 50-49, Senator Freddy Webb, ang mukhang maganda yung listahan mo ng highlights. Yes sir, tingnan natin kung ano nangyari sa first two quarters. 
Alam mo ang uh, ang Metro Stars no, gusto nilang alisin yung crowd involvement ano? At nangyari yan sapagkat ito makikita mo si De La Rosa, he attacks the basket and this guy really got the ball rolling for the Metro Stars. But Ontiveros, you know, he came into the basket a little late but then he made up for his lost time scoring the highest point on both quarters at 16. Here's a guy that really knows how to pass that basketball. The leading man on assist giving it to De La Rosa. Ito, it's a shot again coming from the man of the hour, Ontiveros. That's a three-point shot. Medyo na wala na yata yung iba natin, ano? But some of the things that uh, I felt needed uh, some, some exclamation point was the fact that si uh, Michelle. Si Michelle, ano ha, makikita mo yung laro ng tao. Abay, uh, medyo talagang dinikitan siya ni Adukol. But he knew how to take on Adukol at the later exactly. part of the ball game. Okay. Dinikit niya yung ano, dinikit niya yung uh, bola sa katawan ni Adukol. Okay, Senator Freddie Webb, we'll get more from you. Uh, but in, in the meantime, uh, we'll take a break here. And we have so much more to present. We had some singers uh, earlier and we'll get to know them together with Pia Gonzalez in just a short while. Was brought to you by Adidas Forever Sport. Ngayon, mas pinalakas at mas pinahusay na bulkasin. Super bulkasin. Super tapal na. Super dikit pa. Tapal wow. sa gero. Super bulkasin. Na pero dikit okay. sa alulod. Super bulkasin. Carpintero. Tapal sa tubo. Super bulkasin. Tubero. Dikit sa floor tile. Super bulkasin. Cantero. Tapal. Cimento. Super bulkasin. Mason. Yan ang super bulkasin. Super tapal na. Super dikit pa. Excitometer, a tool used to measure the level of NBA excitement in terms of the game's speed, intensity, heat, energy, thrill, and passion. And the NBA continues to push the excitement way above the limits. And they find it with a smile. Baseline drive. Where's he going to? Pagtanggap ng mga Cebuano sa NBA, napakainit po talaga. Gaya na lamang ng kanilang pagtanggap sa ating mga contestants sa ating Rejoice Video Kit Challenge. At sinukriya naman sila ng ating mga contestants ng kagiliw-giliw na entertainment. Panuri po ninyo ang Rejoice Video Kit Challenge sa NBA coming to you from Cebu City. Sana'y nasabi mo Di pa ba sa aking pag-ibig Sana ay mayroong muli pa Na ika'y makakalaliisip So di ba ko ikaw ang aking panaginip Bakit ba ikaw ang sinaging naman Nag-iisip ko Ikaw ang Gonzalez, who is here, there, and everywhere on this hard court here today, presenting to us that Rejoice with Yoke Challenge. Um, the lead of Manila was as large as 12 points, in fact, at 28-16. But uh, Don Hontiveras, as you mentioned, Freddy, with a great performance, really uh, getting the Cebu team back in the groove of things. And 
Manila suddenly finds itself with a major challenge here today. That's right. No? Plus, you know, in bench scoring ng, uh, ng uh, Cebu Gems, and they're doing all right. Ito yung ating uh, matchup, uh, Budweiser bodies natin. Do you Ayan, think Adubal isn't scoring as much, or do you, do, you, do you need him to score as much? You know, he knows very well, no? If Compton is doing well, he doesn't have to compliment Compton anymore, no? Pinababayaan na lang niya para masanay yung tao na panay si Compton. But later on the game, dapat uh, abangan nila si Adubal because when he starts to score inside, that means their outside is going to be free for Compton to be able to take better outside shots again. Some halftime numbers being flashed on your screens. Cebu shooting well. Manila not so bad. That's more or less par for the course for them. Yun ang masakit yung rebound, no? 27 against 15. De La Rosa with a dangerous dive. And Wainwright unintentionally tagging him. He was really... Ayun, no? Ayun yung bola. Sumabit. Yung nakalipad si Rubene. Just so I play that is the ultimate nightmare of any athlete, the uh, injury. Lalo na yung career threatening. 52-49 ang bilang natin. Metro Stars have a three-point lead as we enter the first 30 seconds of this third quarter. Bang! That's what you get for trying to get that ball away. You know, you take a, a gamble and really it didn't pay off. Wainwright already with eight. It's a 52-51 count. There's Romela Dupont. Nothing there. Fans now for Cebu to grab the upper hand. Manigo rushing. But Manila quickly down defensively. Over Smart. to Wainwright. Smart move. I'm going to wait for the rest of the team next to get into position. Valiao providing the pick. No chance for a roll. Shot clock winding down to six. No shot inside until Hunter let it fly. No dice. Here's the Mape. Good spin around on the floor. Fakes, fires, clobbered by the defense. They fire it ahead to Maniego. Bounces it to Callao. Cebu is in front by one. Now it's Cebu's turn to start running. And the crowd is up on their feet. They really appreciate a running game coming from the gems. There's Peter Martin. Going to the hole, no basket, Aduko takes, fire, scores, with a foul to boot. Watch a strong move as presented by Colt 45. Partner, nandudun pa rin yung problema nakikita ko, eh, no? Na talagang uh, parang wala silang katulong sa ilalim, ang gems, ano? Kaya si Aduko, eh, talaga namamayani sa ilalim ng basket. Wainwright paying the, uh, the price there with his third personal foul. And the rebound's awesome lead, as you mentioned, by Manila at the end of the first half, 27 to 15. Double team now. Now, you, if you're Cebu, you have to be wary of Manila in the third quarter. They're usually strong here. Wainwright lets it fly, no go. Rebound, Peter Martin. Nagulat si Peter Martin. Sino ito kumakalamit sa lugit ko? Oh, and that's on Tiberos, you know? He not only scores, but again, he knows the value of being able to crush that ball on the boards. Yeah, you know? no. Yun, yun, yun. Yun, the stars take it away. The Mape downstairs to a Duco who was not set to receive it. Manigo trying to be prudent. Inside we go, Callao with two hits, that have helped. Well, Matthew knows how to pass that ball. He knows that when he's doubled, there's got to be a free man. De La Rosa. A two goal, backing bodies with Gamboa. 
And a two goal. Alam mo ginagamit na talaga yung contact assist. Oh, right forward. Oh, didi kita. Kanya ibabang kayo yung kanya. Tapos yung pihit niya. Alam na niyang off balance ka oh, na eh. Tapos alam niya kung nasaan yung basket. Alam niya na kung saan pupunta yan. Alam mo partner tinitignan dyan. Di niya na lang eh. Oo. Oh. Mitchell with a hook. No dice. Ball is loose. No whistles. Manigo in traffic. Hijacked in the air. Crowd yelling for a foul. <laughs> Si Agubo, ginakap na lang si Manila. Sabi, sorry, partner. Pero ito magandang pasa. Here's a fine BHL assist, that is. Well, I really don't, uh, don't blame Tomichi Turi, you know, for trying to protest. And he's trying to get everything he can get out of this game. Now go! You can get it on a two. Go back to the two and probably you'll get a bonus. Here Ramirez who is one of the walking wounded of Cebu Gems. I want to see uh, Matthew and coming into South free throw. And again, he delivers and gives Cebu a new taste of the lead. Here's the Mape who has been too silent for Manila's good. Romela Ducol is enraged. You can tell by the way he's pounding the ball. Goes up no whistle. Traveling on a Ducol. Hello, partner. Kung pa-traveling yun, hindi naman natapik yung bola eh. Exactly. Dumulas. Dumulas. Para, pero mula dito, parang akala mo, tinamaan yung bola, no? But actually, dumulas sa kamay ng Ducol and he continued to keep that ball alive. Warning has been issued against Adubal, I think, for Peter Martin, that is, for saying more than just Merry Christmas. Malayo ka, Pastor. Malayo. Ito si Camazo, medyo masama pa ang laro, ha? Very silent. Oh, actually, yung mga usual guns nila, no? Nakascore na ba si Camazo? Parang wala pa yata, no? Hindi pa yata nakakatira. Camazo, wala, wala pa. Hindi, umatempt na kanina, Parker. Tumapay with a heist. And that stab might get things going. Manila with their press, they can be lethal. But look at Don Don break it with a dribble. Good ball taken. Oh! Look at that guy go. Unbelievable. He really pushed on that pedal so fast, nobody saw him pass by. 18 points by Don Don and Tiveros. 60-59, Cebu back in the driver's seat. NF Royal Pension at One House Menu Street, Cebu City. Thank you very much for being our home for this trip here in the NBA. Peter Martin, baseline attack. Nowhere to go, trying to be fancy. Ended up paying for that particular move. Cebu trying to increase its advantage. Binada gets it to the And listen to this crowd and Pineda's happy about that shot, but, you know, he wants to get his, his, his uh, emotions back in the game. Manila with the most serious challenge, as Camaso responding to that challenge with a bucket and silences the crowd for the time being. Cebu nonetheless with a one-point lead, 7.26 to go on the line for Manila, their 21-game winning streak. Pineda, come on! Yan ang nakita natin kanina kay Pineda nung tumira siya doon sa baseline. Sabi niya, may kasunod ito. Here's Camaso. It's a battle of big men who must have been dreaming there were small forwards in their other lives. Camaso, clip from three-point distance. It'll be a set of three free throws. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I know very well how deadly Sampton is on the free throw line. But in the meantime, here's the solo version of the fast break. Grab an acceleration, elevation, and completion. And Chiang is uh, in the ball game for the first time here tonight. That's right. And De La Rosa is going to take a break. 64 61 count, seven minutes and four remaining in counter number three. Earlier today, a major triumph by the Double Eagles, 92 to 84 against Posse. 
as of this moment, it is Davao that is leading the Southern Conference with an 18-9 card. Cebu currently at second with 17 and 9. Compton taking care of matters there. Compton well in line for another double-double. He has nine assists aside from his 17 points. Look at this crowd. May unang tira ni Campton dun sa three, three attempts, three attempts na yun. Ano? Medyo awa yung una, pero yung dalawa, makikita mo, talagang net na lamang ang tumama. Umadjust na lang siya talaga. Umadjust na talaga, oh. Fifth deadlock at 64. Tap from behind by Camaso, but counter still by the Gems. Oh, they lose it. Timeout by the Cebu Gems. We're tied at 64, ladies and gentlemen. Best place to the end, even Steven. You went to na Jollibee Best Sellers, 20% off sa inyo. Sa nagsusumarap na regular Yemen spaghetti at one-piece burger steak volume meals. Huwag pa lang pasig. Kaya galaw na kayo. Let's go, yo-yo! Wait! comfort without compromising value with rooms to suit every kind of budget plus the most exciting bowling club in town you are sure to find your place of rest or recreation in this exotic metropolis experience hospitality like nowhere else standing true to the real double venue spirit paddock's jeans a legend on its own Okay, it's poster time. And okay, Director June De Los Santos. <laughs> Both teams shooting in the 50s in this third quarter. Four out of seven by Manila Martins by Cebu, seven of 12 for 58%. We're tied, square one here, 64 apiece. All dressed up, nowhere to go. Here's London Hunteveras. Look at him drive with a basketball. Confident shot. It's a wild hit nonetheless. He's trying to steal it. At medyo na da pasi konton hindi sinasa dyan yung Hunteveras. He was apologizing to the bench for that wild shot earlier. How can you get mad when this guy got you back on the ball? Ito lang. Wayne Rod. Retchie on bother from the rear. Here's... Temape, Temape, oh! Atin yung nangyari dito, atin yung atin. Ayan, ang atake, diretso kay Pineda. Ako si Pineda, hindi gumalaw sa posisyon niya, hindi lumundag. Malamang charging si Temape. Ito yung mga eksena na nag-uumpisa ng hindi... Louis Alas in a rare moment of visible concern. This is again, if I may repeat, the lot of game plan. But again, you know, you don't fix a thing that's not broken. And so far, it's not, nothing has been broken for the uh, for the Metro Stars, particularly on a 21 winning streak. Led by Dimape. If you're just interested, the last time the Metro Stars loss was way back March 17. Long time ago. They're trying to complete six months without a loss. Of course, I said earlier, see Wayne Wright, Chakasi Matthew, 
been passing that ball very well to each other, particularly yes. Matthew doing the baseline. This is Chris Aldeguer of uh, Manlad Cebu City. Great smile. He's our master drop of the game. 300 production assistants decided that here today. All of them from ABS-CBN Cebu. Okay. In the meantime, the so most... it's the ladies' choice. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. 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 And they are doing a superb job, of course. Michelle, oh, yes, no problem. And it's tied at 65. I think, um, why don't we just move this to the fourth quarter? I think they're just oh, going man. to go to the last one minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are uh, both coaches facing themselves to Nichi Turi with some complaints, but uh, he looks cool, Ria. Yes, he certainly is. Things are heating up here in the third quarter, Steph. That's why the Met, uh, or rather the Cebu Gems, cannot afford to have any careless turnovers. He yes. told them that they must dribble the ball before passing. Talaga kalangan ingat nila yung bola. As for their offense, they will be going to 22-year-old Matt Mitchell. They're gonna pass, cut, and rotate. And quickly, an injury report on Arnold Gamboa. Nakita natin kanina na nagbumagsak siya sa sahig. That was the same shoulder he fell on during practice a few days ago, which is why he wasn't able to practice for most of this week. He's not in a lot of pain. He should be back, Sev. Yes, no wonder there's a ton of ice on that area. In the meantime, Wainwright. Okay, it's a Mitchell Wainwright show. But Frechion delivers! This has been the headache, the Achilles heel of Cebu. They score a big basket, but they're slow to go down defensively. Siguro, partner, ang nangyayari, after scoring a basket, para bang nag-relax muna sila, gusto, sila, gusto nila magpahinga. Pero Metro Stars, they found them an opportunity. Naka, yung sinasabi mo, nakatalikod yung defensa, kung sumutupok ang Manila. Uh -oh. Mitchell going to the hook, tag upon entry. He's going to the spot where he really has scored a lot of points. Take your under the basket. This is a DHL assist. Compton already with 10 assists in this ball game. Here at Compton, ano? Hinuli mo na, na doarjan mo na. Pero magbibigay ng magandang pasa ng maano kay, maiinis ka kung ito yung defense. Ano ba ito? Kasi yung pagpasa niya, scoring position yung scorer, potential scoring situation talaga. And Mitchell delivers. Crowd enjoying this one, no doubt. This is a great battle. Titanic struggle. Use all the cliches you can imagine here. Well, I'm sure Matthew is going to be happy about that. First time he scored the two points on the free throw line. Most of the time it's either a split or none of a conversion. 69 all. We're tied for the eighth time. The Mafia against Antiveras. This shot, Hamasa rejected. There's a foul, and this ball is mine. <laughs> I didn't bother to get that ball away from your partner because we work as a team. Yeah, at saka who can steal the ball from you? <laughs> you know, no, no, no. You steal the ball, but uh, you... <laughs> Pero partner, tingnan mo mabuti ang laro ni Lana. Pag umatake si Dumate, alam na mga kampi niya eh. Pag naipit, magpapasa ng bola. Ano lalo na si Tamaso, ilang beses nang uh, nakapunto siya dahil doon sa mga anticipation. Ito si Tumichi Turi, a little worried. That is the uh, value of having played together na matagal at saka you've gone for a winning streak. Very few changes have been made in your line and you've been together through several international competitions so this team knows each other well. Alam mo yung mga weaknesses ng kakampi mo eh? Exactly. That's even a better point. Monteveras with a check. Oh, this guy certainly can shoot that basketball. He must have eaten a ton of sashimi in Fukuoka. <laughs> By the way, don't forget, we just don't have a definite date, but the NBA All-Star Game will be played here in Cebu. Something to look forward to. The Philippine Advertising Congress will also happen here. That's coming in December. 3.42 to go. We're tied at 71. Two small foul. Compton apologizes the foul. At the interior ni Wainwright, patun sa ilalim, hindi natin makita, no? Covered si Compton. Ano, ang bilis niyang umamin. Hindi nakilala ng quarter on. Ano yung senyas mo, Hermie? Si Hermie ang ating panel director today. 
Uh, here I notice uh, Mr. Uh, Alas is uh, up on his feet most of the time here today. Yes, sir, and he does not have to shout to show his players that he is definitely upset by the way that they have been unable to deliver the defensive stop that he has been asking for. So far, the third quarter breakaway of the Metro Stars has not yet happened dahil nga hindi sila naglalaro ng defense for 23 seconds. At sinasabi niya ito ang dahilan kung bakit nasasayang ang kanilang effort sa offensa. Seb, back to you. And they are really confronted with a huge, huge obstacle here. Cebu, one of the top teams in the NBA and Toto, not only in the South. And making that basket certainly was very important for the Gems because you get the bonus for that. Six out of one in one situation. Six out of ten lang siya ngayon. Instant calabete, mabilis ang release. Oh, and he shouts in desperation. Here's <laughs> Serrano's back in the ball game. Crossover dribble over to Frechia. Inside to Romelo Dugal, who's aching for a basket. It ends up in Serrano. No. Masuk, na masuk. Serrano really has got in his game. I mean, talagang this guy is really on the move. Jonathan with eight points in the, uh, in the ball game. Monty Beres downstairs to Michelle. Mitchell. I think Manila will have to understand that this is the type of environment, type of scenario, where the referees will call it very tight. That's right, which is also good. Oh, this is Cebu, and this can be a volatile cocktail. Problema lang kay Matthew, eh, sayang yung mga tinatapong niya sa linya na lang. Now, this is the first time uh, we have gotten into the penalty situation, no, and correct myself, the second time, because Cebu entered that in the second period. Manila is into it now, Mitchell spreading the charities. Wayne Wright rejected from behind by Fretzi Young. Wayne Wright is asking for that ball again. Mitchell, curling, rejected, getting it back, goes up, fires and scores! Michelle Sobin is jumping with joy. Tama, tama yung sabi mo, tsaga, sipag, meron ka maluluto. You know, partner, it's not every day that you're able to out-rebound Adukul. Watch this, good defense by Adukul, but Mitchell continues to get that ball and gets a bonus. Metro Stars now fall behind by two. And they need a timeout. Back here in Sukmu. In the lead of four. ang gamit nyo sa dingding, di nyo lang alam, hinaanay na, mapepeste kayo. Palitan na ang plywood. Mag-Hardiflex. Gawa sa fiber cement, kaya matibay. Hardiflex, sa konkretong plywood, buo ang lobo. Walang aray, anay! Do you feel like a winner tonight? Then you're ready for the Mod 7 Prime Time. Three steps to win. Just wait for the Mod 7 question between 7 to 10 tonight. Call the numbers on the screen. And give us the correct answer and you win an instant prize. Are you ready to win? Then don't touch that remote. The Mod 7 Prime Time will be back.
Hartman, the MBA under fashion. Hartman, the only undergarment made of 100% super comb cotton. Modalite battery, a materiang from Matagalan. Welcome back to Sibuya Broadcast Quartet. Sam Samantha, Freddie Webb, Ria Tanwato, and Pia Gonzalez live from the New Cebu City Coliseum. Mitchell completes the three-point play and gives the Cebu Jams a three-point lead with 2.45 to go and an exciting third quarter. Well, all the quarters have been thrilling so far. Well, that's the reason why they're on top by three points now. I'm talking of the Gems because this time they have overpowered Cebu or rather Manila on the boards. Five to one. Manila is now beginning to have some doubts, some questions about itself. They're not accustomed to the situation wherein they have to play catch-up in the third quarter. They have played catch-up in the first quarter, second quarter, but not in the third. So they're in unfamiliar grounds. As you check on Abdul, not too many um, more rebounds since we last flashed that. He earlier had six. This Altiveros. At hindi lang yung partner. Alam mo, dito sa Cebu, talaga sinasabi natin, yung crowd, eh, napaka talaga, very loyal, agresibo, at nakakatulong sa team nila. And look at this, the two Cebuanos end up with the fouls. I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion that Demate is really distracted by playing here at home, having to suit up na in a Manila uniform. Maru. Maru na sasaktan niya. Oh, na, na awkward din siya sa situation niya. Like, uh, he had some classmates sa CIT dati, yan. Uh, oh. So he had some classmates flashing a big poster over there. So, what a homecoming wearing a different uniform. But uh, this is professional basketball and life it goes on as such. It's a three-point lead. Now, um, Pia, I took a while turning over to you because Louis Alas hardly ever talks to the referees. He's beginning to talk to them now, and he has a lot of things on his mind. Well, it's that one other thing that is, he has on his mind is that he believes that in situations like this, that the maturity of his players is being tested. He wants them to keep their focus on the game. Kaya siya na yung nakinakadirikamo sa referee para yung mga players niya ay makafocus sa laro ito and play through the slump. Ang importante para sa kanya ngayon, sabi sa mga malalaro niya, hindi bali hindi sila makatira, basta bawiin nila on the other side of the court with a defensive stop. Sam, ready back to you. It looks like he has been asking for that kanina pa. No, mukhang it has really not come for Manila. Chakalmo is really worried because he's also looking at the possibility that itong team niya at itong kalaban niya baka itong mag-meet sa finals. Oh, and he doesn't... Yeah, that's a valuable point. And they might as well get used to playing this team. Oh, Tito Serrano with a counter steal. Downstairs to Peter Martin, but it's kicked. No complaints from the Cebu bench nor from the fans. One minute and 49 to go. Four-point gem advantage. It's a clear out. Well, Kutu Serrano trying to challenge Hunter Bears, forcing him to play some defense here. Shot clock at 10. Five on the shot clock. Chuchu will let it fly. Wild. Took a little too long, I believe. Oh, I don't know what the intention is. Oh, well, that's a tempo. Stephen Padilla whips it over to Pineda, who has had some valuable contributions here. Over and out to Wainwright. Probes inside. Pineda blocked by Peter Martin. And Wainwright trying to sneak it from the rear. Fretchy on in a rush. And it's lost at the baseline. That's a change of game coming from the gems. This time, they're going to be able to get it. Good point, because Canina, they ended up just as spectators mga nagkakamali sila ah sige na kayo na lang tumakbo Volcasil rejection here coming up in this one just about there miss inside here's Manila in a rush four point lead with less than 50 seconds to play Alex Compton trying to control his dribble it's a wild pass What's the advantage of having two guys running after you? A big guy in Gamboa and another one in a smaller man in Padilla. Now, Tonichi Ikui signals the play. 
he feels that if they can score here and get the ball back, they might have better chances going into the fourth. Pero ito partner, no? Nandito si Ontiveros, no? Para sa akin, hindi ko pa dadalhin ang bola yan, eh. Kasi mapapagod yan, eh, no? Matadalhin ko doon sa malit na tao niya. Not unless Ontiveros is playing decoy. Under goal stab. Maybe tama pa rin si Turi sapagkat yung play na yun was designed specifically for Ontiveros to take a shot. But then again, everybody was looking at Ontiveros but Kalia was free underneath the basket. The biggest fish he caught there was Adukol's fourth foul. Oh, sakit yan. Maraming oras pa. Nasa third quarter pa lang tayo. Kalyao, who has had some important contributions, especially at the early part of this third quarter, now has five in the game. Louis Alas, crisis moment, no question about it. One of those rare times when his team won't have the lead going into the fourth. But this is a rare moment to face Cebu and you. Pretiang is now challenging the interior, getting a foul in the process. I mean, sinabi mo, partner, talagang sa interior siya pumasok kasi si Padilla, talagang binigyan siya ng kuwang eh. Ang problema, yung kakampi niya nakatalikod. Yes. The idea was to trap him eh. Pumasok doon, sasara nila. And you put the perfect captions to that last replay as Pretty on tries to trim down this lead. It is a four-point advantage. Louis Alas, as we take a look at him, already thinking of this fourth quarter. Although there are still 15 seconds to go here. Could be the final shot and possession of this third quarter. Timeout nonetheless. A 30 requested by Cebu. We'll listen in to this timeout requested by Tonichi Ituri. clear instructions coming from Tunichi Ituri. Dahil sinasabi niya, at least tatlo dapat ang makakakuha ng bola. Kung, kung maipit yan, kung sino makatanggap, clear out na lamang. So he's gonna take the last shot of whoever brings the ball down. And most probably, it's gotta be a guard. So watch out for Manigo. And then there's Padilla also. There's the play evolving. It's Wayne Wright. Uh, this ball likes me. Oh, this ball very likes me. The ball. Yes. I'll take you in my team if ever I have one. Uh, Just put you there. Hope that the ball goes to your side. 70 pounds oh, ago. Kicho Serrano penetrates, scores, and trims down the lead to just one with less than five seconds to go. Is that going to be an opportunity to shoot and score? No. You all, of course, all remember Stephen Padilla, the long-distance connection not so long ago. It was even showcased in the Asian Basketball Show. Well, this one is deserving of that particular program as we present to you a monument at Colón, the oldest street in Cebu City, where tradition, history, and culture blend so magnificently, and so does the NBA. We'll be back for the fourth. Philippine Rabbit, the official NBA 99 carrier. Traveling in style, comfort, and safety. That's every Filipino's wish. Now, discover what millions of passengers have experienced. The Philippine Rabbit Experience. Clean buses, courteous personnel, and safety beyond any other carrier. The Philippine Rabbit Experience. In the year of the rabbit, you just gotta try it.
Experience warm smiles, warm hospitality in such an enchanting place. With 200 guest rooms and suites that offer a breathtaking view of majestic Mount Apple and the Devil Gulf, the Royal Mandaya Hotel. Grab a phone. It's time for the Mild 7 question. What are the Mild 7 pack colors? A, green and red. B, blue and yellow. C, blue and white. If you are 18 and above, call the numbers and be one of our first three colors to win. And if you don't make it, don't worry. The Mild 7 prime time will be back. Darlington, the ultimate performance socks. Walang himulmol, the official socks of the NBA. Winston, now in a new international pack. Hartman, the NBA under fashion. Hartman, the only undergarment made of 100% super comb cotton. It has been a thriller so far here at the New Cebu City Coliseum. 78-77 is our count. It's Manila trying to play catch up here. They led by as much as 12 in the opening quarter. There's a collision, no call. Peter Martin with a basket. In the meantime, I think this is Rob Wainwright down on the floor. Or is it not? It's Mitchell. Yeah. Let's see what happened here. This is a basket. Ayun, nagkatamaan. Boom! No foul was called. Let's make that clear. In the, mean, in the meantime, Freddy, to Manila, Ben seems to be bothered by some fans who are... Uh, Pestering them and maybe throwing some uh, objects. Anyway, it should not. Uh, I hope nothing happens here. It's such a beautiful game. It's just a well. It's a fact of life. Somebody has to lose here. But both teams have struggled beautifully here. Here's Serrano lifting the ball. Now, what Tomichi Turi is doing right now is really resting uh, on Tiveros in preparation for probably the rest of the minutes that he's going to play. Alam mo, partner, ang importante dito yung end game, eh, no? Mahalaga dito yung resistensya. Wayne Wright managing to wiggle open. By the way, thank you again, Ennis Royal Pension. One of Spanish Street, Cebu City, our home here for the strip and the NBA here in Cebu City. Penetration goes! That's a foul! Well, the two-man game really has been in the books ever since basketball was invented. Yes. And it's still working up at this point in time. Watch yes, this. Indeed. It has been known by many names. The two-man game, give and go. You pick and roll pa dyan. You can pick up the deviations, but uh, you're right. Panahon pa ni Mahoma yan at uh, the way basketball should be played, especially between a big man and a small man. Oh boy, look it, at this. A little partner, it's usually the temptation of looking at the ball and forgetting your <laughs> oh, Actually, look at this. Look at this. Cebu with a two-point lead, 81-79. Keep in mind, Manila hoping to extend its winning streak. It is now at 21. Even the match, you know? Yes, they're down to their last three games, including this one on the regular season schedule. Manila has missed tremendously here in the second half. And you can see, no? Pag tumira si Campton, basta nagmintis na, palakpakan na tao eh. Takbo na si Manigwe. Mitchell, backpedaling, penetrating, does not get the roll. There's a struggle for the ball. Then right stab will not work. And the lead pass by Chichu Serrano, it's five ahead to Compton. Compton gets to the bang in the air. 
I like the attitude of Cam Tono. Oh, Jim, kahit na ang sakit ng tama sa kanya, tinan mo. Ito, hindi. Ito, parang football tackle ito. Ito, oh. ay, yan, bang! Dala-dalawa yan. That's a Compton sandwich. Kaysa, ay, bang. So, the guys underneath the basket. Hindi naman masamang tinapay yung dalawa yan, eh. And Compton goes to the line. By the way, we would like to thank Major Spring Drinking Water for providing the ABS-CBN NBA broadcast team mineral water for all the games in the South, the Sires, and in the Now. Kenichi Turi has a point to make. Both coaches working the referees. That's part of it. Mild-mannered Louis Alas has done his share as well. These two fans are telling themselves, when is this guy ever going to miss? We're tied at 81, which is deadlock number 10. No, it is not the Y2K affecting our scoreboard. <laughs> it's 81-81 uh, with 10 or 8 to go. Peter Martin grapples with it. It'll stay with Cebu. Monteveros is up from the bench, and you can understand the crowd why it's bristling with excitement. Manabat moves out. Well, this is going to be it, meaning most of the guys there inside are going to play almost the rest of the game. Mitchell rejected. Peter Martin. No, but not maybe Masigit and Peter now. Masigit, but sakayan walang fake fake. Comes a long distance call. Maybe going to the well a little too often. He's shooting some tired shots at this point. Tama yung iba iba na yung ano yung trajectory ng ball eh. Iba na arco eh. Panteveros launches. He's rested. He's scored. He really is rested. Ano maganda yung tukay ng Panteveros no? Yung bang pagpasok, pwede ka ganyan yung score eh. Yung iba, kailangan mag-init muna siya. Oo, wala. Sa kanya, pagpasok niya, anong init-init? Wala sa mga buhay. Playing at home has helped him immensely. Aduko bangs it gently against the window and we're squared up at 83-11 deadlock. But if they want to win this ball game, I'm talking with the gems, they're going to make sure that there are no love passes going towards Aduko's way. This is not turnover time. This is position basketball zone. Ball is loose. Kitsu Serrano leading the bus stop, spearheading the attack, applies the best, large from behind by Monteveros. Hindi nakita ni Chuchu si Dondo na nagagaling sa likod. Full Casil rejection coming up here. Peter Martin is the main man. Matthew probably is looking for a foul. Monteveros ended up with his third personal foul in that exchange. Pineda is back at the hard court. Along with Kalyao. Kalyao, these are the Minutemen who came off the bench to deliver some vital points, especially during that resurgence that run by Cebu in the third period. Pero nakita ni Kunichi Turi, yung tirang huli ni Michela, no? Medyo masikip na eh. Kaya sabi niya, taka muna. O baka pagod na. So the rest mo nakita, para ang decision making mo will be better, particularly on choosing the kind of shots that you have to take. Ang may halong galit pa, nababangga na, so time to cool down. Parker is more effective pag hindi dun siya sa paint eh. Di ba? Huwag niya kukuha ng bola sa malayo. Parang nakakain pa siya ng depensa pag ima-attack siya eh. Aduko with his nursing rather four personal fouls. Chuchu Serrano splitting his free throws. One point left for star lead. Cebu has played valiantly here. When you consider, of course, the credentials of this Manila team. But they're hoping that it will stay up to the very end and will result in an important triumph. Ponteveros ended up ungainly. Robin de la Rosa, careless foul. That's a right call coming from the referee. He tried to push up the better's away. Up the better's was really trying to gain control of the ball. Yeah, 
I don't think the expression of the crowd is into the ball game, back into the ball game. They're into it from every, from the opening tap. Oh, I lang nila sabihin. Ang ng travel niya. Magigo, 16-footer. Rebound, Compton. Tapping into a two-ball, one-point Metro Manila lead with 8.19 to play. The Mape handoff. Alex Compton taking up a shot, but he has thrown too many bad passes here today. A little careless coming from Compton, you know, it was a very good assist pass. He usually doesn't do those kind of mistakes. Yes. Monteveras was fouled there, no call. I saw a collision on his face, but there was no call. De La Rosa. You know, if you're going to count the number of lab passes the Metro Stars have done, it's probably going to cost that ball game for the gem. When I love passes, eh, oh, basta may kumat, ilalab lang yung bola, and everybody just looks at it. Parang walang effort to really pursue it, and well, and this basket went down, a one-point game. Well, they made that basket, because if they didn't make that, and Manila would have come up strong, that would have given them a spread of five points. Now, this is a critical part of the ball game. No cry babies are allowed at this point. Yung mga tiki-taki, contact na ito, they'll have to take it like men here. They'll have to win the ball game on its merits, Freddy. That's right. That's right, partner. No? Tsaka pangalawa, if you complain too much, you lose your, ano, your composure in the game. Wala wala yung concentration mo. And that applies for both camps at this point. The, foul, the contact will be there. The competition is extremely intense. So there's got to be a degree of high tolerance for pain here. Not that foul should not be called, but some will get by the referee. Keep that in mind. With 6.45 in the balance, this is a red-hot basketball game on a Wednesday. The Warfare Zone of the NBA will be back. Less E for ageless sex appeal. Alpha to corporal acetate lecithin is less at E. Panox jeans, a legend on its own. Mobileite battery, a materiang from Matagalan. Caltech star player will be selected indeed at the end of this ball game. We'll wait out for that one. Manila being hurt by turnovers, they've committed 26. This will be Cebu's 18. 
That'll not work as Hugo snares the rebound. Alex Compton with four turnovers already. Uh, let's send it down to Ria Benoit to update us about the Gems. Yes, Seb, kanina pinag-usapan nyo ni uh, Freddy ang composure sa game na to. And I must say, despite it being crunch, crunch, crunch time here in this game, the Cebu Gems are extremely composed. Sabi ng Mitsunichi at Ikuri kanina, they must anticipate De La Rosa who has been working wonders at the baseline. So for that, they will have Gamboa waiting for him. On offense, Rob Wainwright, as no surprise, is their go-to guy. Seb? Thank you very much, Ria. That's a valuable point. Let me see si Del Rosario, that is. Uh, the De La Rosa, that is, may gula tiene, may golpe de gula tiene. He can hurt you without you knowing about it. Kaya kailangan paalalaan ng mga players mo. Kahit kumisa, nakakalimutan yung all of the sudden, may silence, no? Akala mo, hindi nasasali ulo sa puntos, pero biglang uh -huh. puputok. Ito na naman, puro lobo ang pasa. Kaya sila magpasahan sa Manila. As they map, eh, no! 3-point lead by the Metro Stars. Boy, for Cebu, that was a lucky break. Kung tumasok yun, magiging anim ang puntos dahil three-point shot yung pinuha ni Dimate. At mamuboost yung confidence ng Manila going towards a critical time of the ball game. That's a foul against De La Rosa. Another assist. And this is what Ria was talking about. Yung uh, degulat na meron si De La Rosa in that DHL assist. Hindi ko maintindihan at at this point in time, partner, no? si Adukul eh, no? apat na ang fouls, pero hindi nila ma-foul ma date. Wala, ito, itong punto, dapat yan ang bigay. Yan, yan. Kailangan gamitan na nga si Adukul. Double team, Stephen Padilla, triple. Boy, oh boy, they needed that basket. Well, deadlocks. Made of eights on the board. Three second violation against Manila. Campton's idea was to give a, a pick on a double, but a double just kept on circling. You know? Where are you going? <laughs> By the way, Gilbert DeMape had 23 points against Cebu last August 21. However, tonight has managed only three points simply because he has not seen all that playing time, especially in that first half. Has not really done him going here. What is it, Padilla? Oh, that's a bad pass. You know, the guy's coming towards you. You don't give that strong pass. Then Mape using Padilla's body as a fulcrum. And this crowd visibly disappointed over the turnover. Padilla trying to make up for that one. Can't knock it in. Gamboa outside to Wainwright. They're not thinking shot yet. Ontiveros thinking shot now. No, decides to go Gamboa. Wainwright, no sir. Rebound fought for. Loose ball foul. Foul on Ontiveros apparently. That will be four on Ontiveros. Watch the strong, strong move. in uh, Mitchell defense. Ball 45, showing that to all of us. 4.18 to go in a ball game that has breezed by us here since we've been loaded with action. Manila, keep in mind, a winning streak on the line here. Cebu hoping to get a share of first place in the South. Yes! This guy has been very silent and what the time for his baskets to get in. Cebu is thinking of, as you mentioned earlier, Freddy, equalizing the current record of Davao because they won earlier, 92 to 84, against Pasig. And Cebu beginning to crumble here. Crowd hoping that it won't happen so swiftly. Aduko fishing it inside. There's traffic, no call. No call. Padilla. Downstairs. This is far from over. Listen to the crowd say so. It's a great ball movement, you know, going to the guy underneath the basket and with a slam like that, it's going to give them some 
sangka na no kasi medyo para nawawala ng gana sila pag nalalaman na sila ng mga 4 puntos eh saka pag nagta-turn over sila bumabagsak yung spirits nila kagad a mass of face shot goes to Demape Demape man from Mandawe fires a triple air ball a two can't save it ito yung case na nauna ang talon sa lundag this time they gotta go for the equalizer Great dunk, Mitchell, on the firing end. Are we going to have our 13th deadlock? Let's find out. Or will they go for a three? 2.48 to go. Dondon, on court, we're tied. That answers our question. Alam ni Dondon, tayo niya si ano eh, si Campton sa ganung dalaw eh, no? Ang top, mas madali, may katulong. Pero pag dinala mo na sa side, wala nang, ano yun eh, inside help eh. 2 and 30 remaining. Thompson. Martin is in the bind. And we have the first jump ball of the game outside of the tip of earlier. And possession arrow. Points to Cebu. Ito si Ontiveros talagang decided lumaro ng maganda talaga. O makikita mo siya talaga ang umano niyan. He made that thing possible. Talagang ginamit niya ang katawan niya. Sinakupisyon ang katawan niya. No? We've got a full timeout, apparently. We'll be back. Let's work together for clean air. To find out if Motolite can withstand excessive vibration, we'll test it with a jackhammer. Valid, Jan. Yun. It's designed for the worst world conditions. Mm -hmm. Start! Let's see! Can you bring it again? Überzeugend! Convincing daw! Motorized battery, pang matagal! Dunkin' Donuts, Kuel Umbrella! Para sa kahit anong eksena! Kapag mainit ang panahon! O kaya, umukure! Add 78 pesos when you buy a dozen Dunkin' Donuts and regular Coca-Cola and get your own Kuel Umbrella! Magpakwela na! Pili ako maraming Kuel Umbrella! Sa dinami-rabi ng sanitizers, isa lang ang accepted ng pamit, apangan! Agua Vida, pure drinking water, available nationwide. Okay, mga kababayan, mga kaidsoonan. Oh, may sumisipol, may police ba? Wala naman po. <laughs> mga kaidsoonan, mga kabalen, napakagandang bakbakan ito. Tabla tayo, 2 minutes and 20 to go. So, sa ibabaw na naman si Antiveros, ano? kanina si Padilla na nagdadala ng bola. Ngayon, this time, it's the change of strategy. Shot clock at 9. Padilla, shot clock at 4. Tonto trying to keep in step with Padilla. Launches a quick three. Just bounces away. Manila snares the rebound. Tomaso has been picking up some crucial boards. Thompson. Into the final two minutes is presented to you by Winston. Now in a new international pack. Compton is pumped on the forehead. That wasn't the smart foul to give. Compton was way off the basket. And the point. Oi, ang ano lang, hindi pa penalty ang Cebu. Oh, but pero sayang. Uh, partner, uh, no? uh, Tago mo muna yan. Baka gamitin mo yan. Ma -ma -ma Actually, uh, saka useless foul talaga at that moment. Pia quickly too. Well, time is of the essence for the Manila Metro Stars in the last two minutes of the game. On one hand, here's Coach Liala is saying that there is enough time for them to regain the lead by making, having a lot of ball movement and making extra passes. On the other hand, he warns his boys against um, wasting too much time complaining to referees and says he wants them to sprint down on defense. Paris, back to you. 
Yes, indeed. It's time for the cool cats to take over. Well, that's what the gems want the uh, Metro Stars to do. Give that ball to Aduco, but not under the basket, but on the perimeter. Here's Padilla to Mitchell. Aduco trying to sneak in from behind. Mitchell grinding hard and picks up a foul against Aduco. On that particular line, where Mitchell is right now making it. 67% going into today's game. He is now 9 of 15 from that spot after that conversion. 10 of 16 with a minute and 11 to go. Cebu with a two-point lead. And here we go. Thompson has it. Shot clock at 12. Adugo ready to provide the pick. The pick and roll. Compton straight. And two! Straight and two! Well, Compton came back again after being silent for such a long time. 95-94. Metro starts back with the lead with 43 seconds. Mitchell regains the lead for Cebu. Google is not happy about that. He's saying, now we know They're going to go a lot of times again to Matthew Mitchell because they feel that Mitchell has got an edge on Aduko because Aduko has got five pounds. Hard pass by Thompson. And a foul by Thompson. Looks like it's a 30. Let's listen in. seconds remaining the gems with a one-point lead mahaba pa yan matagal pa yan for both camps should be enough foul si padilla no oh uh -huh. so he's gonna go to the line are they on a one-on-one -on -one or take two situation one-on-one -on -one. oh boy dito dip dip na lang ang gagana rito pero you know when you're at home wala kang kabakaba dapat di ba Eh, lahat kakampi mo, kalaban mo lang dito yung players at kamag-anak ng Metro Stars. Padilla takes care of the first, earns the second. Each side with two full timeouts to call. Ano ito, mas may kumpiyansa na ngayon ito, pumasok yung ina Kanina, hupo siya. Kala niya, hindi papasok yung tira niya. Oh, yeah. Timeout requested by Manila. A full timeout, and Cebu has a three-point lead. We'll be back.
this is. There's a world-class refrigerator that can store more food and give instant refreshment in record time. You can even fit food items of all shapes and sizes and know they'll be kept fresh just the way you want them. It's especially designed to last a lifetime, giving you all the convenience and the elegance you deserve. Built entirely from 100% environment-friendly materials. All in the new Calvinator. Great looks, great convenience. New Eto na, Jollibee Bessers, 20% off sa inyo. Sa nagsusumarap na regular Yemen spaghetti at one-piece burger steak volume meals. Huwag pa lang pasin. Kaya galaw na kayo. Let's go, yo-yo! Wait! Paddock's Jeans. Paddock's Jeans, a legend on its own. Cebu with a golden opportunity to do what 20 other teams, make the 21, including them, failed to do in the past. Stop the run of the Manila Metro Stars. Could it happen here today? Will there be a final heave by Alex Compton and company? That remains to be seen in the last 21.9 seconds. Well, I believe the Metro Stars might just have to go for a three-point shot, so you've got to watch out for Tamtam and Dimape. There's a goal and a foul. Yes. And it's the foul. It's a foul on Padilla, his second. And Cebu with its 16 foul. It's only a one-on-one -on -one situation, partner, yes. so they cannot, they cannot go on a three. I don't think so. Oh, dahil kung ano ito, I'm sure Compton might have to take a three-point shot. Ang problema dito, partner, no, baka ipasok yung first shot, baka yung pangalawa pwede gumis. Pero with 16 seconds to go, mahaba pang oras. Oh, eh. actually. And so, Alex is not the type to uh, intentionally miss it. Maybe not accustomed to doing that. Let's see. Alex, I think reading the language of uh, Bad Louis Alas, he's saying pasok mo. Oh. Ang partner, kung iba yan, yung tumitira ng free throw shot na ganyan, one-on-one -on -one situations, malamang mamimiss mo yung first oh, shot. Oh, eh. Actually, sa kaba, sa nervyos, kung sa gold na may yips eh. 16.5 seconds to go, we have a timeout. We'll be back very quickly, promise. Full timeout for Cebu Jeff. Have you tasted Gilby's? We're all smoother than ever. With a unique blend of 12 natural ingredients. You should come home to Gilby's and taste the difference now. the ultimate performance socks. Walang himulmol, the official socks of the NBA. Seven, 16.5 seconds remaining. Each team with a timeout, a full timeout to call. So a ton of things can still happen here. First, they got to make sure that they are able to uh, implement a uh, receive. That's right, they received the ball now. Now, okay, that is going to be get fouled there. Okay, now, should Ontivero score on two free throws, Manila might use their last timeout. Marami pang oras, ha? Yes, Adukal comes back in. Nagkaka-problema sila, partner, pag nag-exclude ng charity kung si Ontivero. Life will be so different, ha?
12.8 remaining. Again, this is a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's got to make the first basket to earn the second. Wainwright with a rebound. And a timeout, I believe, was been granted. Yes. Uh, I think Maha medyo mahina ang reaction ng Metro Stars. Nung nahulog si, makikita natin sa replay, ha? Ang sama ng free throw ni Yon Tiberos. Ewan ko kung binabanda niya o hindi. But Wainwright really reached out for that ball. Makita mo nung nahulog. Nanood muna ang Metro Stars. So, nag-ano sila eh. They were, they were arguing with the referee. Hoping for this kind of ball, that kind of ball. They did not box out Wainwright. Let's listen. I believe a hey, look as we take the second look one two I don't think it's traveling but uh, there's a technical on Louis Alas as he had I think voice a little more strongly than he usually does yes. his dissension well it, this this would spell the difference you know if they make this free throw shot and then that, 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 that could that ice the game particularly I know they have to commit a foul and that guy makes Another two shots that would be four points in favor of the uh, of the gems. Ito muna po yung ano yung uh, free throws ano technical foul. Manila has a timeout to call. Keep that in mind. That's the only timeout we have left. One thing Manila is going to do is when when the uh, Cebu gems get that basketball, they're going to foul. Okay, we have a timeout by Luis Alas. The last timeout of the game. We will now move in to Manila. Let's move into Manila. Other brands rust-proof only the doors. We rust-proof the whole refrigerator. The revolutionary Total Unit Rust Protection, an exclusive feature of the new generation Condura Platinum Series. seconds you did not miss any piece of action and it's 98 97 the gems have a one-point lead we have no more timeouts in this ball game but first of all the metro stars they'll have to deny the uh gems from getting that ball once they get it they have to fall right away they've got to fall right away they pick up the steal Compton serrano yes yes with 1.9 seconds to go! Still time, there is still time, and I think there may have been a foul call. Yes, there is. And a stunned audience does not know what hit them.
two to Serrano, giving Manila a one point lead. Misses it. And that will do it. And the winning streak is preserved, Freddie. I couldn't believe it, partner. I mean, to say, they knew he was going to get fouled. He didn't have to pass that ball anymore. Ito, makikita natin, ano? Ito, nakakuha. Dito, papaulin na siya dyan, eh. Hindi na dapat pinasa na yung bola. I'm talking that, that's Wainwright over there. Ayun, no? Tapos, and it was Serrano just went straight to the hole. And Manila has to go out because some fans so disappointed, just peltering the the uh, floor with debris. Quite unfortunate. I don't think we will have Apia. I don't think. I will try to get the interview, but I, under the circumstances, quite difficult. Okay. Okay, let's send it back to home studios. We'll fix things here and wrap up this day. The classic taste of Nescafe. The rich creaminess of coffee mate and sugar. All the goodness in one easy to prepare Nescafe 3 in 1. Now it's even better because it's richer, creamier. Nescafe 3 in 1. The best thing that happened to your office coffee break. Richer, creamier, Nescafe 3 in 1. I love it. Every day. Carnation presents Ballroom of Prizes Part 2. Long label at the whole of ito sa drop box. At congratulations, over 500 appliances. You're a raffle ng Carnation. Chum Nut Kitchen Showcase from Pabuelas. Lahat pang mimi kay sa buong pina. Pilina ng Carnation. Chachan nga sa. Carnation Ballroom of Prizes! Ang ganda-ganda ni Maria pag bagong gising. At mas gaganda pa pag nakapag-almusal na. Dahil mas maganda ang gising kung Jollibee lang hapsarap breakfast value meals ang kapiling. Walang katapat sa sulit at sarap. Mm. Ang agang sulit nito sa Jollibee. Mm. Ang ganda-ganda mo nga kapag nakapag-almusal ka na. Wait ka lang pa nakapag-lunch na ako. May masusulit pa ba? Sa Jollibee? Okay. Uh, I was hoping that we could see the last moment again. Uh, from uh, I know we have a lot of business and we are running. Uh, I hope we can show the last remaining moments. Uh, let's start with our uh, Milo Best Play. Hindi, ito na yung pasa eh. Ito na yun. I think this is the... Uh, this, this came from an interception. Uh, pero yung uh, critical, yung pagkakawala uh, ng bola. Dapat yung side court throw in, doon mag-umpisa. No? Nung pinasa kay Wainwright. Now, Wainwright, ang ob object ng Metro Stars was to foul him. All he had to do was hold on to the ball. But he let go of it not knowing where he was gonna pass that ball. You know, it was a, it was a give me basketball. That's why nakakuha ng bola. At pinapaul na niya dito. Ito, ito. Tanga niya ang bola. Tinan mo, dalawang pupunta sa kanya. Pinapaul na si Jan eh, oh. Tinitawa niya ang bola, wala namang papasahan kung hindi isang uh, naka-intercept si Campton. And Campton gives a very good assist pa si Juju Serrano. Line pass pa. Oh. Line pass pa. Masakit. Oh, masakit sa Cebu yung talo na yan. Yeah. Okay, that could, uh, is that also going to be our hit that winning break? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, we, we, had, we had a kid cat winning break, partner. No? Okay, sige, tingnan natin, tingnan natin. Roll your tape. Ito yung, ano eh, ito yung uh, nagkakadikita na ng laban, ano ah. And we chose the winning break for uh, Compton, no? I don't know if we have the tape, but then again,
Compton took a three-point shot, and uh, the uh, Metro Stars, or rather the Cebu Gems, okay. were ahead by two points. Okay. Kaya lumamang sila ng one. Okay, let's uh, be orderly about this. Let's show our Milo best play. Sige, yun muna. Sige. This best play is brought to you by Milo, the official energy drink. Seconds of this third quarter. Bang! That's what you get for trying to get that ball away. You know, you take a, a gamble. And okay, I'm in a little because I saw the Milo logo. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, okay. let's look at our kid that winning break. Okay, right. This winning break is brought to you by Kit Kat. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. At this, we're going to say now. Two-man game again, coming from Adoko, a pick, and Campton was hot throughout the night. Okay. Three point shot. Okay, what we did for you is just to summarize, present to you the winning moment, you get that winning break by Alex Compton, our best play. There were several moments, but the winning basket was made by K. Chuchu Sirano. Oh, that's the one. That's, okay. that's, that's really the key. Okay, right. Peter Martin and Chuchu Sirano emerged as our Caltech star players. We are unable to interview them. Because of the kakagulo na rito, mga kaibigan. Ito doon na sila sa dressing room nila. Okay, Budweiser buddies, what, have, what do you have uh, still on your screen? Okay, that's how they did. And uh, ang wasted dito yung effort ni Don Don Hattigeras, oh, actually. Oh, yeah. tama yun, ano? At saka si, uh, si Wayne Wright, parang nandamig, ano? Si Ontiveros was still there, no? Except for the fact that they could have sealed this ball game when Ontiveros went to the line on a one-on-one -on -one situation. He's, he missed his first, so he didn't get a bonus for the second. Okay, we have still some more awards to give away. Our Hardy, Hardy Flex King of the Boards is Romel Atupol. And uh, Romel's performance here tonight, a total of 11 rebounds. Um, didn't get too much going offensively, but uh, when rebounds are concerned, Romel can be still be as reliable as ever. Christine Orviso of Mandawi City won inside the Coliseum. Nakulaan niya kung sino ang ating top rebounder. Martin Shack, partner, let's well, take a look at the games. Oh, yeah, 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 games on Friday, you know, but again, 22 consecutive victories for the Metro Stars. That's the most difficult thing to lose. I thought they were going to win here, so it's hard for the Cebuano. But then again, all they've got to do is hurdle the next three opponents. We're talking of uh, Laguna, Batangas, and uh, what's the next one? San Juan. San Juan, okay, yeah. and that's our schedule in the days ahead. Dabao against Laguna, Manila against... Negros, we'll keep it at that for the time being. In behalf of all of us here, here in Cebu, kawaii na, kahit masama loob nila, masaya pa rin sila, makikita naman sila sa TV. Dagang salamat in behalf of Senator Freddy Webb, Ria Tanwalto, and Pia Gonzalez, Epsa Meta for saying thank you for watching your MBA. talks about Piper Halliwell. Why don't I make a fabulous reunion dinner? The middle sister, she's the first of all the peacemaker. What are you guys doing in here? Same thing we do at home. They have a tendency to bicker. We're witches now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. She's more of the even-keeled ones, and um, she has her moments of panic. Look out! I especially get the green screen a lot.